and everything should be working. We are now started streaming. I'm not doing an actual intro segment this time. We're doing Skyrim. That's that is it. I should probably pull this up on my YouTube channel. Hang on. <laughs> awesome. I'm a wiggling. He's a wiggling. All right, this is Puffer's playthrough. We're doing this over on Discord. So I'm not I'm not playing anything. Also, okay. Um, may I just give like some beginning tip no. of getting a lot of money. Okay, you can do that. Fine. Money? Uh, Puff, you find a woodcutter's axe. It should be right by the... <laughs> We're about to do the wood grinding trick. Yeah, AKA just, just stand in front of a stump and cut wood. Where yeah. is it? Show me. Uh, go straight. Go straight. Take a right. No, not that straight. Go. Take a right here. Follow the elf. Turn around. Follow the elf. No, so, yeah. there was an elf that pat there he is, the one with the bow, yeah. Fane though. I remember him. So will so, lead you to it. Just follow him. Shut up, Fane doll. Hello not, there, Fane doll. Fane doll, can you teach me to be better at archery? <laughs> oh yeah, you can find uh, people that can increase your skill for money. Brett, have you seen the uh, Jello Apocalypse's uh Feed the Emperor speedrun? There we go. Uh right there, that's dumb. No, you, you can't use the wood. You. It's there should be an axe around here somewhere. You can't use the wood chopping block yet until you find an axe. Well, yeah, I'm looking no, for the over there. Over there. No. The, turn around. Oh, behind, you, behind you. Turn around. No. Okay, okay, now go right. Uh, follow the. D <sighs> okay, yeah, you pick that up instead of eating it. Good. Yeah, just keep going straight. No. I guess. No. 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 Yes. That great. way. Great. Great. Look to your left. Is there an axe there? No. Keep going forward then. There no. should be an axe, right? This is the quest for the this is our first major I'm obstacle. Gonna, We're gonna I'm find gonna, an axe. I'm there it is, there's a woodcutter's you axe. Now you just go to the stump and you just keep hitting the stump. Press you just you stump. just press E once and then you're gonna start cutting wood. Yep. And this is the way you get money early. You just keep cutting wood and then you'd sell it. Yep. Chop. Wow. One piece of firewood is five bucks each, and you get two per uh, whack. Sweet. So ten bucks every ten seconds. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mine, you... you tell, uh, the uh, woodcutter lady who runs the mill, she'll give you 25 uh, per piece. Or for, like, two huh. pieces. Unfortunately, you cannot eat the wood. No. Yeah, no, wel welcome there. to Skyrim. Welcome to the homesteading. Oh. What? You have to keep the going it through it. Oh. Yeah, this is I Skyrim, think. baby. This is yep. prime content as I sit here and mm -hmm. pour myself. This is drink. this is what it feels like to be playing the best game ever. Skyrim truly has stood the test of time. You can Wait, cut. Wait, have me. you guys seen that uh that body cam VR game? No, I'm not. It's a, it's a photorealistic VR game that looks so realistic that when someone played it, they thought it was the real, like, Oh, they thought it body was cam. body cam? Damn. Yeah, they it, it was, like, unbelievably perfect. Ah, uh, that is scary. And it, it's literally the reason that the creator of Skyrim resigned, because of the lies he made, and it literally proved that he was lying. Mm-hmm. There's uh, the bitch. Oh, there. That it, lady. Yeah, you can talk to her and you can give her wood and she'll be. Oh, hey, there's Rayloff. I don't know. Did Wait, she do it I... yet? Or because she still has a quest marker over her head. You might need to sit there and have Rayloff talk to them. Uh, do you have any supplies they can take? Use the key to the house. Stay as long as <laughs> she just gives you the key to her house. All right, go commandeer her stuff. And you can also. Now grab it. You, you need to press E uh, to take it, because if you click it, you eat it. So just press E to take it. What am I doing? She's giving you stuff. Anything you want to take, just press E. Because if you click, you might eat it. I don't know how much of that you took and how much of that you ate, so... I hit E on all of that. Okay, so you should have taken everything. Yep. You can also press... Uh, hold on, I need to check. Where is... Uh... I need to find something that has storage so I can 
No, that's the dungeon. Um... Brad, why can't you access your inner brain and just get all of Skyrim knowledge? Kind of the... <laughs> yeah, if you press R to take all. All right, cool. That's lucky. Crouch, 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 crouch. No, no, no. Why would I do that? Because it's if you crouch and you're undetected, you could just take stuff. Yeah. But I could also kill her when she comes down here, and I have to worry about it. Yeah. Then you have to so, deal with yeah, so now you could just steal that stuff with no consequence. Oh, no, now you can't because you're detected. Now you're hidden, so now you can. Yep. So if you press E... No, if you press and hold it, you pick it up. So that's how you do that. <laughs> yeah, it should be the gloves. Yep. No nice. Crap. Take that Brave. stuff. Nice. Uh, hold on. There should be potion next to you. Um, yeah, uh, you're wearing... To your left. By the way, you're wearing I... heavy armor, so they could hear absolutely everything you're no, doing. Crouch. No things crouch. On the table. If you want to, if you want to steal their robes, go ahead. Okay. Those right are orange things on the table. Okay, you could also t take that girl's green dress what? if you want. Yes, grab the go hide and the gold. Leave the glass. Now you go. Take the cannoli. Now you go up. Motherfucker, look. Yeah. Yes, those potions. Good. Those give you increased stuff when you want to upgrade your uh, gear. Yes, good kleptomaniac. Good rock and roll rock hard maniac. Uh oh. Yeah, good. He's coming for me. I can see your mace is itching. It's itching to be buried inside someone's skull. Also, I'm pretty sure if she does see you taking stuff, you might get some bounty, but if you kill her, it's fine. Because this game has a thing where right. if you kill all witnesses, you just lose your bounty. Well, that's how it is in real life. Yeah, exactly. And nobody here has cell phones, so nothing can happen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that just showed up on screen. That cat girl research assistant is playing... What was it? What was the game? Smite. Smite, yeah. As always. Don't grab yeah. that. It's unfortunate, because I really like swords. Wait, grab the bow. Grab the bow. You could take bow. this sword if you want. Yeah, but the mace does more damage. Yeah, but it's slower. Uh, sword, it, sword it does, it's faster than axe. Axe is faster than mace. Mace does the most damage. There she is. Do you want to bash her skull in? In a video game? So that YouTube can't flag me for hate speech? I don't recommend you hey. shoot this, mainly because I don't recommend... Killing people? I mean, you're well, always... Not... You're always free to kill anyone you want. I know, but if he kills her and he's able to run away and get away with it, then freaking uh, her husband's gonna send thugs and steal armor and you're gonna get your ass wrecked. And let's let him discover that on his own. Your left testicle right. is now playing Smite. Awesome. <laughs> I, I love doing okay. this over Discord. Yeah. Awesome. Now Hello, it's child. <laughs> Children are invincible. Um. Unfortunate. Right. But uh, can go you orphans. Yeah, yes, can. there are already plenty of orphans. I, I actually think that's a mechanic that if you kill their parents, they get sent to an orphanage. Yes, it is. <laughs> I forgot that was in this game. Ugh. <laughs> Quick save. Oh no, you got bounty. Oh no. Uh, this is truly the Skyrim experience. Also, fun fact, if you put like a cauldron or a basket on someone's head, they can't see you steal shit. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Is it, do they never update that? Never updated it. It's still in there. <laughs> Hello, Gerder. Oh, man, I love experiencing this at however many frames per second it's coming through on Discord. It should be 30. Oh, uh, your health is low. No. You're gonna, you're gonna die. Great. Oh, great, she's oh, dead. So That's well, another thousand good. bounty. Oh, it's fine. No, I, I, I intentionally died so I could quick save. Yeah, so you can immediately get back here quick save. That's a speedrunning tactic. This is a Skyrim speedrunning tactic right here. You die so you can get to your previous save faster. Let me in. 
Let me oh, into the shit, forge. <laughs> yes, it deals real fire damage. Isn't this game immersive? If you look underneath... Wait, can I give... No. Uh, Puff, can I give you, like, the how to upgrade yeah, sheet under, tutorial? Under, yeah, I already, I already did all that. Mm -hmm. Grab the shit neck to the workbench. If if you can if you can stealth steal it, then yes. If mm, yeah, no, I'll you're detected right now. Who the <laughs> fuck is pinging me right now? Hang on. Uh, Puffer, press T. The T key. Oh. And now you can wait. Congratulations, you have discovered the wait function of this game. Yep, and now everyone can be going to sleep, which means you what? can steal all the shit. Crouch. <laughs> oh, are you stuck? Are we gonna have to? Are we gonna have to teach him the TCL? No, nope, he's not fine. Yet, not yet. It's Dude, not TCL off. yet. Uh, wait for another an hour. But this time, do it in real time. Wait. It's that's a risky game you're playing because for some reason the game loves doing that hidden detective dance. Oh, <laughs> uh, and now you're carrying too much to be able to run. Well, if you upgrade your stuff, it'll get rid of the iron, so it should be fine. <laughs> Just suck up all that steel. Oh, oh nope, you picked it up. Mm, uh, tasty puff, steel. Uh, turn around and press E on the... No, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> not that one. Or that one. Uh, do it on the... <laughs> I, 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 would, I wouldn't steal any of that stuff because you're already at max carry weight and just stealing more stuff is just going to make it worse. Going. All right, well, you're going to need to drop that shit off somewhere. <laughs> But I'm gonna switch the shield out. Yeah, isn't that the, the shield better than the? Is it? It's an upgraded version of the one I have now. You're I in your all shield. menu, by the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know. If you click on the side, it should just. Your shield would be in apparel because the game like being fun like that. Also, you can't sell stolen things unless you're selling it to a fence. But we'll worry about the fences later. Yeah. Why is there a fence? Defense. Awesome. You oh, activate the book. If you want to, huh? you can also sell that book. That book you had in your inventory, Spell Tome Sparks, if you interact with it, you learn a spell. It will be in books. Yes, yeah, so if you click that, you have learned a new spell. You have learned the Sparky spell. You can now also shoot light... You can now shoot lightning from your fingertips. Congratulations. Let me check my email. Now live on your channel. A pufferfish plays sk ski rim blind. Shit, I misspelled Skyrim in the title. God damn it. Ah. Uh. I am a fool. This is both yeah, fun and slightly infuriating. <laughs> Welcome to the Skyrim blind experience. G this is this is kind of making me want to do the defeat the emperor speed run now, Fuck. or like some other type of Skyrim speed run. Yeah. Uh. I don't know, Puffer. What's your what's your goal? Uh, for money. This, just get as much money as possible. Like, what what would you say would be like your victory? My victory. Huh? Yeah. Like what? Get fifty thousand gold. A hundred thousand. Fifty million. Fifty million. All right, that's gonna be quite. It's gonna take some grinding. Or the uh, enchantment thing. Well, I mean, me. Oh. The the problem with getting fifty million gold is, oh yeah, you don't Cabbage. even need to. You can just take that cabbage. You don't need to steal it for some reason. So they're not just gonna. You won't get bounty for if someone sees you take that. Give me that back. Carry the kettle around. Put it on the ground. Wait, that's not the building. This is the building over here. Oh, I was saying getting 50 million gold would be very difficult to do because of the uh, limited 
limited coffers of the of the yeah. shops that you go to. Mm. Oh, wait, this is the wrong place. Yeah, that's not welcome. You're in someone else's house now. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Uh, it must be awful to live here. This hulking man just walking around. Just eternally with his shield and mace out, walking into random people's houses in the middle of the night. Carrying around a kettle. I'm gonna put it on your head. No. Okay. <laughs> Take the kettle, Wait. put it on the chicken. Wait. How do you know what I was gonna do? <laughs> I, saw, I see that chicken on screen, I know what's about to happen. Uh, the famous Skyrim Riverwood chicken. The one that accidentally hit my first playthrough. Yes. No. The one that you kill and it, for some reason, everyone gets offended as much as if you just killed one of their children. And then the entire yeah. Skyrim militia comes to beat you Good up. son of a bitch. Wait, really? <laughs> I mean, if someone sees you kill a chicken, you do get, what is it, a thousand bounty? I think the cow can also report you. Oh no, it's just five. Oh. It's forty. Uh, nope. The the chicken witnessed the crime, and now. Oh, that was. It said forty bounty added, the and then you killed the chicken. So forty bounty was removed because you took away the. Oh yeah, there it is. Fucking okay, no. hell! Eat it. That's another classic Skyrim. Is uh. Is that you're walking around just fine, and then you pick a flower, and then you weigh too much, and you move at a snail's pace. Guess I gotta eat five pounds of raw glass. The cow's running away. The cow witnessed her crime. The cow's gonna tell on you. The cow's gonna sue you in court, man. Use a bow. I'm not a part of your system, man. I'm bad with the bow. Get over here. Wow, that thing's fast. Use shit. magic. You have some magic. I don't know how to use magic. It's like using a weapon, except... There, it's in your left hand, so now you right-click to use your left-handed stuff. Where the fuck did that cow go? Timbuktu. Cow go beep-beep. Wait, what? I left-clicked in it. Bro, that cow is speeding through that water. No, you right-click for your left hand. I know, it's weird. It don't make no sense. Okay. Don't make no sense. Where cargo? Yeah. This car is great. Cargo space? Car no do that, car no fly. What's upstairs? The stairs can't talk. There we go. Oh, you got the execution screen. Nice. Yay. You got a small cinematic of you burning a cow in the middle of the road. Congratulations. You are now oh. sluggish and slow. The beef, motherfucker. The, Eat beef. the beef. Eat the beef. Food. That is a potion. Eat, eat the raw beef. Oh. I think you're still carrying too much. Oh, nope. I am. Grab it. And you are. <laughs> Why, why is your guy's eyes, like, sunken into his skull? Wait, you guys haven't seen my guy? Nope. Nope. How do I how do I show you guys? You need to put your weapon away so that you can actually pan the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on. Let me just... I'll equip the helmet really quick. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that chin. <laughs> that profile. Mm. Mm. My end. It was like a glass cutter. <laughs> oh man, there was like a there, there was like a white soy jack that looked just like that. My man looks like Ted Cruz. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I need a it drink of water. Like, uh, Tom Cruise, but without all the children's blood. <laughs> My man looks like he was injecting young blood so he could stay immortal forever. Bruh. Eh. To I be still honest, I make all my characters look the same, so... You, you... Oh, that's right, you didn't sell off the firewood, so now you're just carrying around 12 pieces of firewood in your inventory. Because I couldn't sell it. Uh, yeah, you... You didn't go to a place to sell it. 
There you go. Yeah. You're right. You talk, you didn't you, talk to. Yeah. Either the girder or her husband. Or you could just go to Riverwood Trader, which is closed yeah. right now. Yeah. Here. Bell? You're going to go over your inventory limit again. No, 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 I just want to kill it. Oh, okay. Kill it just to kill it? Of course. Yeah, you do get some experience from that. You will get... <laughs> That's how the best mages are made. This is... This is a... This is... This is the exact same training that Ladul had to go through to become a wizard. He just burned deer in a forest. Right. It's in character. <laughs> you know what could actually work? Have you got a crossbow? That is yeah, not even close to where he is. That is can some. Can I enchant the bullets? Or you the, can enchant the, the bow. The arrows. And you get explosion fire bolt and lightning bolt for the crossbow too. What? I can't burn crops? No. Nope. Oh, no. There was... You can't burn the water. Stump. There is one section where you could burn some beehives, but you're only allowed to burn three or else someone gets mad at you. You cannot ride the dog. Fuck. Game number Where's two. Where's the end? It's, uh, yeah, you need to go back down that road and hang a right. Oh, yeah, that's there right. It right here. I have and fire just... in my eyes. And this is where you go when Delphi is in there. Ah, uh, this bitch. Yeah. Hi, guys. Why is Ognar... Why is Orgnar... Why are they hostile? Oh, it's because you attack the cow. Press R, press R, press R. Press and hold R and put your stuff away. They should stop attacking you. Nope, there's not... Oh, shit. No. Okay, fine. Well, guess you just can't go to Riverwood anymore. <laughs> One guy's clapping. You're not going to be able to kill them. Delphine is really yeah. high level. And you're going to die. Does that mean you need to pick up all the steel again? Because the last time you quick save was when you were about to cave that girl's face in with the mace. Um, I have no idea. Oh, nope, no, okay. it auto-saved. Yep. I guess just oh, run hi. away. Run, just run away. That's a valid strategy. <laughs> I don't know how you get out of this. Uh, would paying off the bounty work? Yeah. Yeah, right then. So. Or just going to jail. Yeah, that would also work. Probably. That's right, back off. Back off, Orgnar. You skeever brain. Hey, ugly. Hey, Melon knows. Oh, well, he's dead. I don't think you got any bounty for that. Yes, take the ring. Shit. Take the ring is valuable. Take it. The ring is mine. <laughs> Cast it into the Don't fire. Worry. Never. We should reenact the entirety of Lord of the Rings. The entirety of Lord I of the Rings. That's what this game was. This is Lord yeah. of the Rings meets Sweden. <laughs> hey, yo, why is it half a corpse over here? Oh, because that's where I killed the rabbit. Because that's where you okay. killed the rabbit and dropped off some stuff as like a sick calling card. <laughs> That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's a wolf. You. Burn the heretic. Kick. Bonk. Hey. The classic kick-bonk combo. Tale as old as time. Oh, I can't take the stuff. I mean, you could pelt that You could pelt that wolf with a mace. You never skin an animal with a mace? I mean, I can take it. But I'd be over-encumbered. Hmm. Are wolf pelts really have... that heavy? Oh wait, you were at yeah, two ninety nine. They're ten. Oh, yeah, they're at two ninety two. They're ten. Are they? Was that the weight or was that the value? That was the the weight. Okay, well that sucks. Yep. <gasps> Ooh, a house I can rob. That's yeah, not that's, a, a that's not a house. That's a metery. Yeah. So but you could... there's still someone in there. Yeah. 
But I don't think... You know what? I do think he lives there, actually. I do think he has, like, a loft where he lives. Too bad you can't actually get in there. Yeah, it's locked. Or no, I don't think it was locked. I think it's just what? Is it a drawer that's locked in there? No, it's a door, because the door had that special, like, bedabbled honey thing. Yeah, the decanter. Oh, the last time I came in here, there was nobody. There's Malice, or whatever his name is, Saviorn. You could sell your food to this guy. He has a hundred gold. Carrots. You're keeping the carrots on you, aren't you? Of course. Carrot. Yeah, I, mean, I can't wait to find the freaking uh, cheese raider. A cheese raider. Yeah, I remember. I was like in a cave and like up in the rift. No, down the rift. You need um, a key for that, buddy. I found a bunch of... Oh, I found a okay. creation club bow. He's going to tell you that you're going to go to jail for killing people. Only 70 gold to pay off the bounty. Not bad, considering you literally murdered somebody. That should be a lot higher. Uh, if I say I'd rather die, do I get to beat him and just run away? No. If you beat him, then sure. But then the guards yeah. will still be after you, and you'll probably end up with a lot higher bounty. Yeah. The Paying off the bounty is the best thing, and we are going to teach you to do a little something, because after this, I'm going to ask you to check your inventory. Because I lost all my stolen goods. Yes. There is a way to get them back, however. Oh, shit, you're in Dragon Breach now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Speedrun tactic. Yep. Wow, all the shit I stole is still here. It shouldn't be. Except for all the iron bars and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, the iron and steel, you did actually steal. So. Yes. I, I get because steel. <laughs> <laughs> there is a way to get it back, though. How? All right. So you see, there should be a door to the right. Not that big door, but a different door over on that end. If you go around that way. Mm-hmm. What's down that way? Go through that door. Even further beyond. All the way at the end. Hey, look, there it is, the dungeon. And there will be a chest that contains all of your stolen goods. But you would Hi need to guy. steal from it. <laughs> Hello there, it's me, the prisoner. Uh, that one is empty. That... Uh, it's locked. Evidence chest. Yeah, the evidence chest will contain everything that you've stolen. But also it's locked right, and you need to pick the lock. You should, oh, yeah. you should have a lockpick on you, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I, I have a several. But the question is, where's a pot? <laughs> I need a kettle. This is very important. Oh, Excuse me, guard. Uh, I want some. No. Uh, hmm. Where's a pot when you need one? Nobody knows, man. There's a dead rat down there. That's a giant ass rat. Yeah, the skeevers That's are pretty cool. big. Those are some New York rats. They're the size of corgis. Mm hmm. New York rats are just New York dogs for everyone else. Hey, look, there's the Yarl. Oh, wait, I just realized that you didn't need to. Mm. You know what you could do is crouch, because you can't bring that through. Oh. No, don't worry. She's just saying, by order of the Jarl, stop right there. No one approaches the Jarl's throne without blah blah blah. And you're gonna say, I saw a dragon hit the tower. Everybody's dead. No. <laughs> I don't. Playing without Give subtitles? Kind of cringe. You can't bring it through door unless you actually put it in your inventory, so. Crouch, crouch and steal it. You should be fine to yoink it. Yoinky sploinky that stuff. There you go, you're making me proud. So if I bring it out in front of them, they won't get upset, right? Correct. Nope. Only if you put it in your inventory. 
if you take it out of your inventory, they won't get mad. But yeah. will it still count as a stolen item? Yeah. Yes. You're, you're allowed to not put it in your inventory, but carry it. You need to press R to drop it. There you go. Yep. Pick it up and very carefully place it over his head. Hello there, sir. Would you like a new Ooh. helmet? I made it myself. Uh-oh. Uh, what um, do I hit? Press and e? hold E, I believe, to drop. Why did he move his head? Press there you go. <laughs> there he is. It's let me solo her. Damn it. You stole the third before I could do it. Oh, nice. God damn oh, it. he threw it off. All right, let's try this again. Into the echo chamber with you. Right. <laughs> Hello there, guard. Uh, Your friend is... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go away. I'm trying to pick this chest. Go away. I'm trying to steal my stuff I rightfully stole. I do know... Your sneak has uh, increased to level 16. Good job. <laughs> it's... There you go, yeah. All right, 18 locks. You should be able to do this. Welcome to the RNG section. Snap. I'm actually at picking locks. Like yeah, me to too. Uh, Flipping work to the left. Uh, nope. And there you go. Okay. You got all your stuff back, and now you're a free man. You are a Freemason once more. So anyways, what do you want to do now? Do you gonna wanna wanna you wanna warn the Arl that there's a dragon out there? Uh yes, and I'm gonna go join Thieves Guild or whatever. <laughs> Alright. The Thieves Guild there's money. <laughs> there is a lot of money. The Thieves Guild has a lot of light armor though. Well, I'm going to be wearing late armor anyway. All right, fine then. I like no how you shit. Playing without subtitles kind of cringe, bro. You can scroll down more. You can scroll down more. I think, yeah. You can pin this on Storm. You can pin this on Ulfric. This is all his fault. He summoned the dragon. It's all that damn Ulfric and him shouting at people. He yelled at the Emperor so hard that the Emperor died. <laughs> it wasn't the Emperor, it was High King. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, I'm behind... Been... It was High King Torig. I'm sorry, but I'm behind on my Skyrim lore. Anyways, we do gotta ask you the question now so that you can sign your soul over. Do you know who you're gonna join yet? The Imperials or the Stormcloaks? Money. So imperial. So I uh, empire then. Money, money, money. Yeah, you're probably gonna want to go with the empire in that case. To be fair, when you think about it, being joining the stormcloaks, you're fighting at the rebel. But joining the empire, you get a fucking pension. That is true. Yeah. They do have benefits, like health insurance. You get free health insurance for life. Uh -huh. We have health insurance. You got free soda. Oh, I'm over my weight limit, aren't I? I think so. Did he give you something? Also, um, uh, hold on. You can also become saint and be able to buy property in different places. He gave you the empire. Yeah. What did he give you? Yeah. He, he didn't have... give me anything. I, I, um, the stuff Sunday? I had equipped got taken off me. Hmm. You could just drop some of that iron stuff. Who cares about it? Drop your iron battle axe. It's too heavy. Oh, yeah. The iron battle axe is a two-handed weapon, and it's really big and heavy. And, like, ooh, the iron helmet, maybe? Or No, you're good. You're under your weight limit now. Yeah. Your armor rating is nice. <laughs> drop the daggers. The daggers are worthless. Unless you want to become a cloak and dagger character. Even then, you get a steel dagger. That is true. That's like the second cheapest thing you can buy. Hey, look, Ready. it's Farangar's secret fire. Look at this guy. 
<laughs> what you see versus what he sees. Wait, um, Keegan, uh, turn around. Nope, too oh, late. He's in a cutscene now. Uh, nerd. You have, but I don't care. What is the guard talking about? I I missed it. I don't know. Boy, I sure... I'm not paying you a bribe. What? I I don't know what the I don't know what that is. Hang on. Is that because you stole stuff from the evidence chest? No. What is that? Is that because you got into the city? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Is it because he got into the city without going through the main gate? They're supposed to say no one's supposed to get into the city with this dragon business about, and you're supposed to say, "But I come from the destroyed town," and they're like, "All right, fine." But you didn't go through oh, that God. because you got arrested. Is that what happens? Okay. Yeah, that's what happens. I've never no, seen the, that. The reason he arrested me apparently is for disturbing the Jarl's peace. I, I mean, you did attack some animals. That is disturbing the peace. Can you stop blocking with that for a sec? No, I want to jump on his head. All right, fine. But then he came and talked to you in here, and we've never seen that before. And he was talking about something that we weren't familiar with. And the, you didn't turn subtitles on, so I couldn't see what he was saying. Hang on, I'm going to look this up now. I'm curious. Oh yeah, the College of Winterhold. The weakest entire faction quest line in the entire game. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're a student here. Hey, our, our headmaster just died. Do you want to take over everything? Okay, I guess. Hey, that tall blonde guy who was very obviously evil turned out to be evil. Can you kill him for us? Okay, how do I turn oh. on things for you guys? Uh, Subtitles? Yeah. It should be in... Uh... Um, that? Mm. Go to settings. He is in settings. Go into Audio? Display. Or display, yeah. Dialogue and subtitles and general dialogue? subtitles. Yep. And now, like that. Someone touch something. No. Remember, your mind there we go. Hey, could, could you, like, turn around for a second so I can just, like, doink this? You too. Mm -hmm. Talk to him about the entire... Yeah, if you talk thing. to Farngar, he said... If you say that, I think now he'll tell you because... Yeah, go Wait. back up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you say that and the Jarl's not in the room, he's like, I don't believe you. And then the Jarl's there. He's like, all right, fine. Oh, okay. I think I see what that thing with the guard was about. I think it's because you dropped a weapon and left it lying around. Oh, yeah. I left, like, three daggers. <laughs> Apparently the guards will tell you off for that. I've never... I guess i just never done that before. I have. Why did the guards never bother you for that crap, then? I was Thane. Ah, uh, you know, good point. I do become Thane of every hold before committing any crime, so that I become immune to the law. Yeah. Anyways, now we have subtitles, so now we can read this guy. Look at him, look at his very tall face. He looks like Rumpelstiltskin from Shrek. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, just look at how squishy his face is. I just want to sink my hand into there and go. <laughs> his face looks like it's made out of clay. 
He looks like he'd melt if I held up a candle near him. I also sell the spell. He sells spell and smells. Go into book. Book. No, the only book. You can sell the silver guard. Oh, well. What? It kicked me out. The only book you have is the Book of the Dragonborn. Yeah, it's book. There. You only have 195 gold, so be careful with what you buy. Oh, I go, go down to Conjure Flame Atronach. I want to see how much that is. It's expensive, yeah. Because it's a really good spell. Yeah, I was able to get that early on because I sold literally all my armor mm -hmm. just to get my own spell. There are a lot of spells and you don't know what any of them do. Do they have fast healing? No, and fast healing would be too expensive. Oh, zombie? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is necromancy. Necromancy is really good. Oh shit, he has reanimate corpse? Damn. Damn, motherfucker, you got lucky. If you could get you any of that stuff. Money. Time to go. Anyways, now you can continue yeah. on with this quest line if you want, or you could just go all the way to Riften. And uh... Uh, actually, what we're going to do, do the quest we're going line. to find stuff to steal, so I can go buy spells from him. You can't sell stolen stuff, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, for, yeah fuck. for some reason, yeah. every NPC knows if an item is stolen, so they just will not buy it. They'll That's go, hang on a minute, this apple is stolen, I'm not buying this. And you're like, what the f*** do you mean? Oh. Nope. <laughs> Relax. That was close. Attempting to pick a lock is not illegal, only actually successfully here. picking it. Yo, <laughs> sup, loser. <laughs> sup, nerd, taking a nap? What's the matter, wounded soldier? Oh. Did your mommy give you that name? A pop to your left is a yeah, is a shrine. Wow! Congratulations, you got nothing. Yeah, but also cures all your diseases. So if you ever get a disease like a bone break fever or dance dance revolution, you could cure. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <I> buddy! <laughs> <laughs> I will become a divine. If you get if you get dragon aid, that will fix it. <laughs> yes, you can't stand it. You're lying down. Uh -huh. <laughs> you could just take their healing potions, these sick people's healing potions. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Run out of healing stuff? Potions of healing are better than potions of health. Potions of health are bad. Wow, 11 gold that they just had lying at the bottom of a big, huge chest. You could steal that roll of paper if you want. It does nothing. No, that's not true. You do need it for, like, a late Thieves' Guild quest. Oh, get the drip. Do you take the drip? D take the fine clothes. You can't sell that because they're stolen, but it is drippy. It's drippy yeah. as hell. You will, now you have this disguise when you need to steal shit. Mm hmm. And because it doesn't have an armor rating, that means it makes no noise when you wear it. Now nobody can recognize you. Oh my god, you're doing what I said that I wanted you to do. You're embezzling from the church. <laughs> Is this technically embezzlement? I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, a strong box. Wait, yeah, there it is. Up. If you get closer to that, you can... Oh, it's empty. Why is it empty? There should be stuff in there. Bread, there you are. Is me, bread. Also now, where is puffs. the tape? Yes. If you want to get to Riften, you're going to have to walk there or pay 50 bucks for a carriage ride over there. Is it 50 for Riften? I thought it was 20. Yeah, it's 20 for Riften. 20 for Riften. There it is. Yeah, it was 50. For some reason, it's 50 for Winterhold. Why would it be? I think it's 50 for some of the smaller or, like, not connected cities. But if they're connected to the main roads, then it's 20. Mm. 
I don't remember. Oh, this house. Clan Battleborn. Battleborn, you'll remember the name well. I don't remember his first name, but I do remember the name Battleborn. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're some guy knows that you're trespassing and he's telling you to get the fuck out. He's not going to come out and beat my ass again, is he? No, the NPCs are just like, hey, you're not supposed to be here, and then you leave, and then that's it. Hall of the Dead. I think there was a Stone oh, of Baron Zaya down here. Or, I'm yeah. sorry, an unusual gem. Look, a different shrine. This one is of RK. Where? What? Right there. That's the shrine of Perke. Perke. Uh, also, you press tab. Press tab. Go to mag. Go to magic. Ma magic. Oh. Go into magic. And go Act down to active, active effects. effects. And now it will tell you what you got. So, like, you have imperial luck, so you got more gold. Uh, fortify hey, health is yo. RK. Yeah. Ring of Minor Blocking, you get bonus damage with your shield. Wait, what? I just applied it to my other hand. Well, because you right-click, so it went into your left hand. I hate this. Yeah, I know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. There you go. Now you have fire and you have lightning. The elements of the light uh, firebenders in Avatar... There are skeletons down here. Zuko, to continue your firebending training, you must defeat these skeletons. Wait, Dojum. Ooh, an ancient sword. Take the bone meal. Take the bone meal. Why? You can use it in crafting a special kind of armor later on. It's the uh, light armor that I really like. Well, the sword's not that good. Uh, it's better than other swords around that level. Um, if you go farther down, I think you can actually start a uh, Creation Club quest that gets you a God Hammer. Is it Creation Club? I don't know. Yeah, it's Creation it Club. It should be it's in game. this room. I don't think you need to... Okay, yeah. Firebent is oh, ass. God, that execution <laughs> cam is so beautiful. Uh-huh. It's a feature. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Nor Fire can. comes from the breath, not the muscles. Ooh. The oh, by the way, everything you say the value with isn't actually the value. Huh? The value of something? Yeah, it all matters on how uh, your speech craft is. Yeah, so if it says value 5, if you try to sell it, you'll actually get shit, because your character is very uncharismatic right now. It's like talking to a houseplant. Do, is this Warhammer worth taking? Nope. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It only has a value of 46, and that's if you had max speech. I Where's that do... stupid gem thing? It ain't here. I can tell you no, that much. Um, you can back up, back up, back up. Get out of that room. Turn to the left. Uh, more to the there left. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep. Unusual gem. Bring an unusual gem to an appeaser. Bring it to him as Funny. a appeaser. And death? a death blow. Ooh, yeah, yeah, read that book. You'll get a skill from it. You got more block. Take it. You can actually sell that. That yeah. one's actually not bad. If a book has a value of, like, what is it, 50 or above, it'll up one of your skills. 45 and above. 45 and above. How many pages does this have? Uh, that many. Oh, by the way, I have all these books. Like I, I in real life? Yes, I got the Skyrim book set. Does it come with the spell tomes, too? Yes, it does. Nice. Is there anything actually in them? Uh, yes, actually. In, there are three different ones. The one about man, myrrh, and beast. one about the gods and what have you. And that's the magic one. And one's about the land. They're really cool. Mm. They're even uh, ritual uh, markings that you can draw. Nice. Including the Hermaeus Mora 
um, from his book. Hermeris Mora is my favorite marketable Daedric Prince. Embalming tools. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really use them to attack people, so I would love to shank someone with an embalming tool. Luckily, we have mods for that. Wait, book. I, I should do Wait. the... No, I don't think there's any good book there. Oh, I should do the... Uh, I should do the Wait. AI voice like... Yeah, no, these books aren't worth reading. Unless you uh, want to read them. But you don't get anything out of it. Wait. Oh, okay. I figured out how you can get money really quickly. I'm listening. Okay, open up your map. Press N. Will it work if he's in the... Yeah. Uh, press Hold N. on, I have to get out of this house. No, you just need to press L. Oh. But you still okay. can't fast travel from there. I know, I'm telling him to where to go. Uh, so move to the left a little bit. More to the left. Okay, now down, down, down. Bit more to the right. Up top. Farther up. Okay. Um, okay, I just, I memorized the map. So... I'm, I'm very confused at what you're trying to lead him to. The gold, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the farm that they added. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. It's pretty much a farm that if you get, like, someone, like a steward there, you can farm money. I was Where not the fuck aware of this. Going? Yeah, I figured out how I'd get like 10k per day. <laughs> Bread, where does he go? Where do I go? Okay. Uh, just. Um, can you move the map up a bit more? Perfect. Okay, hold on. I'm pulling up my map. Jeez. I'm correlating the coordinates, motherfucker. Uh. Want, want We're triangulating the location of this gold farm. We're triangulating the position of Hitler's left nut. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take the second one away from him. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, that Brooks. Okay. So. Wasn't it like a thing that Hitler wanted to invade Russia? And once he got in Russia, he wanted to take Rasputin's nuts? For himself. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh. Hitler did have a micro penis. Not just okay. only one testicle, he also had a micro penis. That explains a lot okay. about him. Guys, okay, so when you egg when you exit White Run, you're gonna to need to go far to the west. About there. Like about where you put your coordinate thing there, that's actually like halfway there over, then you're just going to have to walk along the stream. Okay, hold on. Your your map is a lot more different than mine. Do you have the Skyrim paper map installed? My map is only no. purple. No. Okay. I just have lower quality. I put all my things down to medium. It's just easier for my computer to handle. Damn. Oh, I forgot you okay. were also playing Skyrim at this time. Okay. Move your mouse to the left. Uh, a bit low. A little bit low. A little bit more to the left. A little bit more. Yep, perfect. Put a point there. All right, cool. All right. Well, that's a, that's a point of interest that you can go to. You can go there, or you can go to the Thieves' Guild in Riften, which is all the way on the opposite end of the map. Yeah. Luckily, we have fast travel, so if you want to go to Riften... Start the Thieves Guild quest, then fast travel back over all the way there. Go fast travel back to Riften. Yeah. Which is good, because we're not doing survival where you have to eat and stuff. Yeah. Hold. Uh, so Thieves Guild allows me to fast travel? You can no, already fast, fast travel. Oh. Uh, so it's just, just need to whichever. I'll leave white right now. It's just whichever yes, one you want to do first. Do you want to leave and go money. to the... F All right, fine. I'll be right back. Which money? They're okay, well, bread's gone. It's a question of which money do you want to do. Do you want to go to the farm or do you want to go to the thievey quest? Which one's going to get me more money? 
I don't know, because I don't know anything about this gold farm, but I will tell you that there is someone, if you do the Thieves' Guild quest, after completing, what is it, the first step and going a little bit inwards, you, the Thieves' Guild quest will allow you to sell off stolen goods to someone. Oh, then where do I go for that? East? Uh, well, first you would need to leave the town, so through the big doors uh, that are all the way on the other side. There are no doors that way. You need to leave the city. The city is its own map. What? That's stupid. Yeah. Oh. That's why I like the open cities mod. So that the doors don't... White run discovered. Yeah, so now you need to actually leave to go through the thing. Alright, now you're now out. Now you need to go... Yeah, straight. now you need to go... Well, you could walk all the way if you want there. You'll find many fun... Find many fun things like a bandit camp. Or you could just take the carriage there for 20 gold. Where is that? Uh, do you see that horseshoe on the top? That should be... Uh, right, right, you, so you're at the stables, a bit further down, closer to the road. Yeah, that guy. This guy. This guy. You can talk to him. And if you talk to him... Well, you didn't tell him to go anywhere, and you didn't pay him shit, so you're just sitting in the carriage now. Good job, jackass. I didn't know that. <laughs> It should just let you climb into the carriage and then just select a place. But yeah, if you talk to him, you can hire his carriage, and then you could go anywhere. And by anywhere, I uh, mean those locations only. So if you scroll down, there's one? Uh, Riften. Riften. Riften is where you want to go, because that's where the Thieve Guild is. And it's good, because that's one of the cheaper locations. So now you climb in back, and this guy will talk to you. I return. Welcome, Pickled Rat. We're watching this pufferfish play Skyrim Blind for the first time. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to tell him to take all of the plates. Plate. Oh, uh, now, now for the first... Or that way? Uh, Behind you. Now for the first trial, you need to actually get into the city. Congratulations. <laughs> well, welcome to the first trial. You need to get... Tax. The visitor's tax, yeah. What's the tax for? Screen share goes crazy. Yeah, this screen share is pretty bad. Which do you want to do? Do you want to say that it's a shakedown? If one... Uh, oh, never mind, it worked. All right. Congrats. Normally that doesn't work for me. I'm a sneaky boy. Yeah, you just persuaded him to not give him any money. And it worked. Yo, no shit, I'm not spending money on anybody. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed you to. Know how I am. Yeah, good. That's the right way. Because you're not supposed to spend oh, yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You here Tell me what to use, Gil. How can people who would be saved bear the worst time? Even the Dark Brotherhood tries to set up rules and Ha 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 ha. Yeah, Dark Brotherhood rules and tradition. Ha ha. I'm back. Oh, hey, Hello, Mule. welcome, Bread. It's Mule the Lioness. He got into Riften. He told the guard to go fuck himself, and it worked. Oh, cool. Uh, I recommend you try to get Mule on... No, do not tell them. Do not say that. Then you completely agree. Because you can get Mule on her side, and then if you go find a sword for her... She uh, becomes one of the companions in the game. Yeah. Uh... And not like companions from the... There's a faction called Companions. We mean like follower. She'll follow you around. Oh, hey, Maul. I like this dude. <laughs> yeah, he goes, uh, Hey there, traveler. You stinky. You what pick. What's it to you, huh? Don't say so. <laughs> Are you trying to tickle me? Take a step back. Now to the right. The Black Briars have ripped. Oh god, mini tool partition wizard just popped up on my screen. I hope that didn't come up on screen. <laughs> it did. <laughs> no you cries. <laughs> I wish that was just an option. That should be the next Skyrim's shout is no you. Ooh, I can show him the gem. Yeah, you could, if you want. I can persuade. The oh. unusual gem is also good, because he's like, hey, you found one of these? This means you stole it. You're cool. Uh, I don't know anything about the Thieves Guild. Or no, you could just ask whatever you want. 
Yeah. yeah, you need to take it to the Summon of the Thieves Guild. And now you can ask about it. Man, fuck Maven. Arkat! Fuck Maven in a non sexual way. Oh, Market! I believe this is where you meet the man himself. Not Hello him. there, Branche. Nope, this guy. Yes. He knows that you have no money, and he wants to get you even more money. It's Brynjolf, the best husbando in this game. Unfortunately, he never has any time for us. Yeah. So very close to 100%ing Dragon's Dogma. Are you pickled rat? Nice. But I'm wearing fine clothes. <laughs> Look at these fine clothes. Could a man of my standing be poor? Yeah, I've already 100%ed Dragon's Dogma. I need to finish up that quest guide I did for the hero achievement. And then I'll upload that and then start the second game when it comes out in March. Uh, but then I'm going to need to do a highlight reel for that and for this. Ah, well. I, I can kick myself in the butt and force myself to do it, probably. Okay, before you say you're ready to get started... Take off your helmet. Yeah, take off your helmet, Get take off all your love. Well, you can level up. Yeah, he's had that level up for a while. Yeah, take off that. Take off the the, yeah, take off any heavy armor. You Alright, you don't have shoes anymore, but that's fine. It's because that yeah, make you noise, can. and you're going to need to be a little bit sneaky for this. And quick save, okay. quick save, quick save. Also, this thing, I yeah, don't know and how level this works. Up. All right, so it gives you one stat that you could put ten more points in. Magicka, health, or stamina. So pick whichever one you want. Magic. Okay, fine. And now you get to increase a perk. So there are different trees that handle different skills. Yeah. Like restoration, destruction. You've been using one-handed. There's light armor tree, smithing. There's alchemy. Don't... Sneaky boy. You could, you could put more into sneak. Oh, I think pickpocket. Yeah. Pickpocket is good. How do, do... How do I... So do now I... you just hit up or click on it, yeah. And now you can, uh... Yeah, so now oh, you can oh, pick... Oh, it had the... Yeah, so that means the ring should be real, real fucking easy for you to pickpocket off of. Yeah. So now this upcoming quest that you have to do where you have to pickpocket someone is going to be very easy for you. Yeah. Also, you should probably quick save before starting this. Because it is possible to fail it. Press F5. F5, F5 is, is a quick quick, quick save. save. Or the quicker yeah. save. Yeah. Or the quicker picker upper. Wait, okay, I'm now go behind, go. No one's okay. yet. You need to steal it from a strong box and then put it on someone else. So, uh, if you want to figure out how to do that, first you press escape. Just so that it'll Wait, tell press, you where to go. <laughs> Press J. J. Now click, uh, click, click a chance, chance arrangement. Yeah. Okay. And now it'll tell you where to go. But let's go out to you once again. I have to leave prematurely. Goodbye. All right. Well, goodbye, Pickle Rat. Thanks for stopping in for the few seconds that you did. Yeah. Just try wiggling around a little bit until you're no longer detected. There you go. I tried to do this quest modded. It was a lot harder because I... There was a mod that added a lot more NPCs to the game. And so they were just everywhere. A bit more? There you go. Good. And now you need to open the strong box. Okay, it's okay, in the down. door that you just opened. That one's an easier lock. Uh... Hello oh, there, guard. Nothing Hi. important going on here. I am I own this stall. This is definitely my stall. There you go. Oh, come on. Try moving a little bit closer. Try crouching and moving a little bit closer to the wall. How are you still detected? There you go. Do it now. A 
little bit higher. No, yeah. Uh, fuck. Lockpick broke on the novice lock. Kind of cringe. No, up more. D don't worry, you're fine, bro. There you go. There you go. Now, uh, wait, hang on a minute. I I would get out of that menu because I think you were detected at the last second. Yeah. So now you need to wait until you're no longer detected. All right, there we go. Now steal it. Now steal it. Steal it now. There you go. Take the okay. Well, yeah. did you take it? I don't think you did. I, I took everything. I hit A. Did you nope. check? Check the it's apparel. Not a, it's R. It's not. Oh. Cool. Well, now you're carrying too much to be able to, to run. So. That's fine. I don't need to run for this. Okay. I mean, I I, I still think you have enough yeah, time. Behind the stand. Crouch behind, behind the, stand. the stand. Yeah. Quick save. Yeah. And then plant. Get closer more, more, more. and plant the ring. You don't need to be hidden for this to work. You go into peril. Go into peril. Go. Nope. Click there apparel and now scroll down. This one? No. No. Meda it should say oh. Medassi's ring. Yeah, Medassi yep. silver ring. Plant that one. Sixty-eight percent chance. Do it. Click on that. Target. There you go. And now get out of the menu. You're good. It won. You did it. You did the. You did the mission. Yeah. Congrats. Uh. All right. Let's just see. Uh, eat some food. Ingredients. I mean, you could food. eat those if you want. No, Do, not the carrots. You don't want to eat a carrot in celebration? No, the like, carrot. Go into miscellaneous. Go into miscellaneous. Uh, scroll down. Drop the tankard. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Yeah, the wolf pelts have a weight of one and a value of ten. So ah. you, you could drop two of those if you want. Or you could drop the goat hides. You could just drop all of them. Oh, shut up. Yeah, Grok is kind Grok. of an asshole. Looks like I chose the Hello, Brynjolf. Brynjolf is like, wow, you're cool. Do you want to join my FaZe clan, bro? I'm going to open up Quora. Now I just got 100 bucks. Nice. And now he's going to tell you to go into the juice sewers beneath the city. <laughs> That's. I'm not going to get flagged for hate speech if I say that, right? No. <laughs> for talking about the Jew tunnels underneath the city. YouTube, that's a meme. That's not hate speech. It's a meme. I love that image I have of the, uh, of the imposter with the Star of David on him. In the attic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, kind of want to email that one to myself just so I could put it on stream. Sure, sure. Eh, you know what? I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Now Branche is being... <laughs> He's being gassed a little bit. He's being arrested. For Fun stealing fact, a ring that you stole. To, uh, talk, you, if, when you talk to him to, in the dungeon, you can still do his special quest. Yeah, that's right. He gets hauled I off to the I dungeon and you can meet him there. And he's like, I hate you. But also, can you do this thing for me? And you're like, sure thing, best yeah, buddy. Remember. Uh, I wouldn't steal that armor just yet. You're about to get some better ones. Yeah. Where do I go? I uh, hit J again. And then do take yeah. and care of business. Now you got Mr. J. Now it's... No, you got there. Don't go out door. there. You look, okay. see down there on the ground? Look down. You're right above it. You're right above it. It'll tell you to go down there. That's the that. Those are the juice sewers that you need to get to. You're just going to need to jump off the, go forward and jump off the bridge. And then it's right there. Yep. 
And now all fell. And now you see, be. now you see a Jewish man coming out of the sewers. Wait, 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 wait. I was gonna quick save because it quick saves as soon as I go through the. Yeah, door. it does auto save, but oh. careful because there are people here and they're not nice. Uh, up, press escape. Huh? Go into a system. Click installed content. Okay, so no. He uh, can't convince them to go away? No. Um, none of the Creation Club stuff downloaded. Oh. Uh, don't know. All right. I cool. guess you can get Anniversary Edition. You just got Regular Edition. Yeah. Anyways, these yeah, people fine. are mean. They're going to try and kill you. Yeah, they're very tough. Hi. Right. You're out of magic. Fine. You should put... uh, I should also put on my armor, shouldn't I? Mm hmm. You can put on your armor again since you're no longer trying to be sneaky about it. Uh... Oh, hey, you got steel armor. Rad. Yeah. What the f YouTube just gave me a notification. When did I subscribe to someone named Hollow Shitter? Dude, I've literally been dealing with the same thing. <laughs> it keeps randomly giving me, like, people that I didn't subscribe to. No, but here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did subscribe to this person as a thing. Also, Ed's here. Hi, how many mods have you installed? This is Vanilla. This is Puffer going through Vanilla Skyrim. Also, it's pretty funny watching a stream of a stream. Yeah, I know. Go into going potions. I don't know what I'm doing. Drink some potion of healing. There we go. You got all your health back. Why is there a third red dot? Who is... Oh, so I'm gonna... Oh, no. Hollow Shitter. Did I actually subscribe to them? Yes, I am subscribed to Hollow Shitter. Ooh, Potion of Life Beat. That's real good. Leave the rest of that shit. Let's see. Hollow Shitter. They only uploaded one video. Why was I subscribed to this person? <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing they have on their cha on their uh, on their channel is they have the community tab. How do they have the community tab? They only have three hundred subs. <laughs> One month ago is posting from here, by the way, and it's a picture of a padded room. Okay, <laughs> YouTube makes no sense to me. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, after watching Puffer do this for some time, I might actually do a a, a modded Skyrim run where I just do some stuff. And, Brett, if you want to join me for that. Yeah, because the thing is, it's like, I want to play, but it's also like, do I want to make a new character? There's a low life. He's low life because he's low and you're high. Do some fire bending on his ass. <laughs> what would Uncle Iroh have to say about the Thieves Guild? They need a bunch of low life that don't understand the quality of good tea. <laughs> Does anyone in Skyrim understand the quality of good tea? Yes, the elves. There is no one I could... <laughs> there is no place in Skyrim where I can have a good cup of tea. The dark elves specifically. The high elves don't know good tea from swamp water. Yeah. My racism is showing. Bonk! <laughs> Oh, that's cool. You slice his neck with a shield. Yeah. Uh, be careful, be careful. Trap, trap, trap. Do you see that? You see that wire? You see that string right next to the door? Search low life. That's... You, if you press and hold it, you can move his body. And you can even drag him out of the I'm way. <laughs> You're dragging his body away. Wow, he had 33 gold on him? Yeah. Damn. I always oh, grabbed the, the glove. Gloves. Why the gloves? I have oh, I like enchanting them. Well, we're not They're doing an enchanting run. I know. We are no longer in Kanto. Yes, yeah, so you could unlock that if you want, or you could just open the door and deal with whatever the trap is going to be. Because I don't think the I trap here was that I... bad. The trap was know. just the ball, right? Or... Hey, you did it. You evaded the trap. Congratulations. That trap will never activate again. Book hires axe. You already got one of those. 
You don't need two axes. You don't need to dual wield the axe. Wow, look at all that oil Whoa. on the ground. Sure will be a bad thing. Sure will be a bad thing for you to hit that pot. Damn, you live like this, bro. <laughs> MTV rate right my crib. There are a lot of bulls and spigots there. <laughs> If you had the first shout, this would be fun. Oh, is that a piece of gold on the bottom shelf? Yes, yummy. <laughs> mm, tasty gold. Oh, and it, I remember, if you go into, like, a mine that's in, like, near Falkreath, you can actually get the... Oh, fuck. You have a fuck, taxi, fuck. uh... Wait, something the fifth. GN the fist. I remember he's the pugilist. He's a world-famous pugilist, Tommy. Oh, he's dead. He has a carrot! Look at gloves. Gloves of the pugilist, those are good. Yeah, don't sell them. They're unique. Skeever. Wow, Garnet. Why, why did that Skeever have a gem in his... Alright, so, wait, hang on. Before you drop there, something there, off... I was gonna put the gloves on. You could put the gloves on. Uh, well, it's only unarmed strikes, so... Yeah. That could... That will be helpful in a little bit if you want to go down that path, but I will... You don't need to drop anything. I'm... Okay, well... Why don't I need to drop anything? I was going to show you the way you get more carry weight is uh, if you level up. Put tap, level up. And then stamina. put it into stamina. Because every point you put into stamina gives you more, what is it, two more carry weight? Five? It's a certain number. Anyways, now you can increase another perk. Do you want to get more speech so you can sell stuff for better? Do you want to do yes. one-handed? Do you want to do light armor? Speechy. Buying and selling Money. prices are 10% better. Speech is a really good tree to level up because, careful, there are traps all over the floor. Ooh. Well, you just turn that bear trap back on. You turn that one off. Keep going forward. You could just activate all these if you want. Wait, I can't pick them up? Nope. Lame. Ooh, alchemy table. What does this do? If you have ingredients, you can mix them together. <laughs> I do not. I think you do if you just click ingredients. Okay, well, nope, never mind. If you click ingredient, Yeah, you have two. Oh, you have bone you know, meal and skeever. skeever tail. If you click both I of them... Actually... Yeah, try making a potion. Now hit R to craft it. And okay, nothing. Well. well, now anytime you have bone meal in your inventory and you click it when trying to make a potion, Skeever Tail gets blacked out. So the game will tell you that you cannot make anything. Cooking! This is a lot better in modded. Poison green apple. You Why could... the fuck do I have poison apples? You need to stuff a choke berry into it, and that's how you poison it. Yeah. Anybody home? There should be one more lowlife there. What the fuck is this? Is it a hoe? That's a hoe. Yeah, that's a hoe. Yo, what's your hoe. mama doing here? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, God, why I did you hit her with up. a mace? I can't pick it up. Uh, I'm crouch. No, you can't. It's just... There's a tankard, but you can't take the hoe, unfortunately. That's just a set piece. Uh, Puffer but it moves. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's just a prop, unfortunately. You can't pick it up. Puffer, I was watching back some of our old Dragon's Dogma stuff, and uh, I remember you talk, were talking about, what was it? I forget. It wasn't Wheel of Fortune. Was it Family Feud, where it's like a, f it was like a term for a farming tool that you can also call a person, and the answer was a rake? Oh. Yeah, but yeah, he said was, "ho" because uh, that was the most obvious answer. Yeah, yeah. So the the question was, "What is a thing that you can call a farming implement, but all, also call a promiscuous woman?" And Bro said the obvious answer, which was "ho." And they were they all looked at him weird, like, "No, that's not the right answer." And the, the right answer was rake, and that makes no sense. No, uh, to the right. Wait, no, stop. Book. Beggar. No, not the fucking tanker. 
This tanker is burning a hole in my pocket. Also, drop the cowhide. Pick fuck and creep. Nice. Uh, item miscellaneous cowhide. Yeah, I don't think that's useful. You can't turn that into yeah. leather, methinks. And take the book. Right. Take the book. Eat. Yeah, because now you can sell that, because that book is valuable. Dictionary.com, yep. rake definition and usage. Uh, is that a fucking Let me, hit, a, let me hit the fucking bongo. Bonk. Do you have a spell, uh, Puff? Do you have huh? a spell that, you'll un that you can unlock later on that literally have a ghostly drum following you? I got a cheese veg. No, Other not, definitions not, of not. rake, two of four, a dissolute or immoral person, especially a man who indulges in vices or lacks sexual restraint. Left. Okay, but Left. nobody uh, uses it. No, I mean, you but could do I that. Explore. Yeah, but then explore. Right also, you can pull that lever down and you pull the bridge down. Congratulations, right you bridged the gap. Congratulations, you did it. You're making bridges. This is truly the... The Death Stranding experience. Mm -hmm. Sleep. We should play Death no. Stranding. That'll be fun. Just walking in the open world for too much time. Ah, I see where I am. Mm -hmm. I have to go forward. I want to see if I can find that clip of uh, <laughs> the person who did the uh, mo capping for Quiet in Metal Gear Solid Five. She was streaming that game, and when she went into Quiet Cell, she was uh scoped in on the bottom of Quiet's feet and she said that they actually had to uh was it that Kojima or people on the team approached her and said like okay listen we need to get scans of the bottom of your feet it's, it's very important for the game that we do this I want to see if I still have that clip because that's a good one <laughs> where is it Look, it's Brynjolf. He's wearing some cool clothing now. Yep. Video saved. Did I save it twice? I did. God damn it. I'm a stupid. Whatever. I'll just go into my files. Please excuse me. I'm doing some accounting. on the files that's the way <laughs> yay oh you get yeah you get to punch the uh the dwarf the dude that obsessed with dwarf uh the livid lady and the horn and punching them is optional there are other ways of dealing with them oh yeah I, I love the optional wave so now the way you, use, you need to get these people to pay up you can ask Brynjolf about them and they'll give you optional ways to deal with the debt or you could just go and beat them up that also works anyways I was I was scrolling through my phone and I found some old stupid memes your mom is so stupid she thought Twitter was it's the what? dumbest <laughs> I remember Crab sending everyone that as soon as Elon Musk renamed the platform. <laughs> she thought Twitter was X. Welcome to the Ratways. Anyways, now you can go over that bridge and you'll get out of it faster. Look, there's the way out of the sewer right there. Beep, beep. Oy vey, have I reached New York City? Okay, I'll be back in like 20 minutes. Gotta help my mom with something. Alright, fine. I guess I'm in charge of... Yes, no, there's I'm a... just gonna be... I'm gonna be on and off tonight. Alright, that's so fine. I'll be... 
talk for like an hour, for like half an hour. But Don't I'm worry. Not doing Don't worry, Puffer. I'll be the voice in the back of your head. <laughs> Oh, well, he he okay. he gone. I don't think you can kill Grello just yet. Don't worry. I don't think you can kill her right now, or either you can and nothing happens. I think you could punch her in the face and she just dies and you don't get any bounty from it. I've seen that happen. It, only if I punch her, though? If you kill her in any way, but I think any hit will kill her. But you also don't get bounty from it. Yep. Hey, you get no bounty from that. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. That's the problem. Kill the witness. Kill the witness. You didn't need to kill a witness. Now you have more bounty from that. No, I don't. I didn't get any bounty. Yes, you just got a hundred. You just got a thousand for killing that other. For killing what was his name? Oh, hi there, Michelle. Candace Michelle, whatever her name was. If you just killed the old lady, you would have gotten no bounty, but you didn't, so now you do have bounty. Congratulations. Listen, I only told you to kill one person. Oh, and now there's a second guard. We love you, Dark Brotherhood. Don't okay. worry about that. <laughs> That's, uh... That's a thing for later. That's why you're allowed to kill this old lady with no bounty, but don't worry about that for now. Yeah. There's a little boy you talk to in one of the seas, and he'll, he'll yeah, be I know. like... Yeah, he, he wants you to kill her. Yeah. It was in Windhaven. It was Aventus Arancino, or whatever his name was. It was Al Pacino. Ow. Anyways, you're about to die. Yep. yep. Get executed. Yep. Hey, your heavy armor increased, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's I your last thought what? as you were dying. <laughs> you know, I could I... use my heavy armor more effectively. And then you died. Anyways, you can now clonk this old lady over the head again. Congratulations. Bonk. <laughs> uh, and now you have no... Oh, the pig children. Yeah, do you want that book? Anyways, now you have no bounty. Congratulations. That one does not give a skill because it has only 20 value. Can I still steal things from here? Oh. Uh, I don't think there's anyone dead. Constance Mitchell, that's the girl's name. Yeah, don't kill her. Then she'll take over the orphanage. And now anytime you kill a child's parents, they'll be sent here. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yes. That is the thing in this game. This game doesn't have a lot going for it, but what it does have, it has going strong. Yeah. I got something stuck Hater? in my teeth. Rabbits? Yeah, you can steal the rabbit meat. Dried elves' ears. Yes. I don't think the elves are too appreciated of that. Well, it's just a plant, so don't worry. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna... Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Constance Michelle just... All... Yeah, they all left. <laughs> She's just running around. No, she... They didn't leave. They just all went to sleep. Oh, wait, they did? Oh. Yeah, they... Uh, they, they, they hate that old lady who died. <laughs> They're all just asleep. <laughs> They're all asleep as Constance Mitchell's running around screaming her head off. <laughs> uh, today was a good day. Alright, I'm firing up Tomodachi Life so I could co-commentate this while also dealing with that. Anyways... Didn't ask. So now you need to get money from deadbeats. How do you want to deal with this woman? Do you want to punch her in the face, or do you want to, uh, do you want to threaten her family? So this is the one I have to get. Yeah. Money from. Mm -hmm. And then this if, is her family. Yeah. If you talk to Talon J, he'll tell you about her family. Say you might want to talk some sense to Kirava. 
and he'll tell you all about her family. He's like, please, if you need to threaten her, this is where her family lives. Please threaten her. Please do it. <laughs> he literally does. Awesome, so now you can talk to Ki <laughs> so now you can talk now. to Kirafa. And now just stare at this guy very threateningly. <laughs> Hello there, empty eyed. So now if I go over there and beat her, he'll get upset. <laughs> I mean yeah, but they'll always well, be upset if you beat them. Yeah. Did he just teleport? He did. Telling Jay discovered teleport. So now you can talk to Kirava. <laughs> and you could kick the cheese everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, the thing? Thieves Guild sent a message. Wait, I can't jump. There we go. Yay. <gasps> Wait, it's all items. Yay. Wait. Wait. Not, not the <sighs> knife, unfortunately. Not this knife. Stuff the cream tree in her face. Oh. And now talk to you, Rava. Anyways, you could say anything, and then you could say, you ready to pay up, you deadbeat? Let's say that. Or you could try to buy stuff from her. She has an apple pie? Yeah, she has an apple pie. Oh, she also has a... Gold. Yeah. So how do you want to do this? Okay, yeah. Congratulations, you extorted the poor innkeeper. You now have 100 more gold. Yoink. Be careful not to spend it. Because that is a thing you can do, and if you spend it, you won't be able to complete the quest until you make more money. Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh huh. It's immersive. Hey, fuck off, dude. Why does that dude Don't look walk. like an Austrian composer? Was this the dwarf shop? I think so. Oh yeah, because there's a dwarven vase right behind you. And if you break that, he gets mad, but also breaking it is how you can get money from him. So if I... S do I have to talk to him first? I think you have to talk to him first. And either you can... Punch him out, or... Yeah, you either punch him out, or do the... Breaking the vase... We have a message. You, sir, are in deep doo-doo. Yeah, so now... So now destroy this vase. Bonk. <laughs> no, you're gonna need to fully break it, so just hit it a few more times. Again, should be one more time. There you go. No. <laughs> Your shop has the most. <laughs> you just break his face. Look at him. Your shop has the most unusual name. You have anything to sell? <laughs> you have anything to sell? Oh, oh no. Shit. Well, yeah, that's. I'm just gonna let him kill me. Or you could just hit escape and then load and then do it from the autosave. Oh, uh, that's true. I forgot I could System do that. load. Auto Pond Prawn Puffer Imperial Level 3. Congratulations, Bureaucrat. That's my favorite race in this game. You just start dancing on him. I have a message from Burnface. I have a message from Bernie Joe. From Bernie Joe, the best thief. He says he's gonna kick your ass. And then break the break the vase again. Clink. Clink. 
Link. Boom. There you go. Now try real hard not to bash this guy in the face. Awesome. Leave him in pieces just like you did to the vase. And now there's only one person left to extort. There she is, it's Helga in her bunkhouse. And guess what, because you already extorted the first two people, she already knows what's coming. And she'll just give you the money. What? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just the book. Do not steal the book. You could pick up the book and throw it on the floor if you want. I threw it on the ground. <laughs> I'm not a part of your system. Please, don't hurt me. My dad's not a phone. Duh. I know him. Yeah, anyways, after getting money from the first two people, she'll just give you the money. Look, I got the message. Doop, doop, doop. And now you just go back to Brynjolf and you'll give it to him, and then you'll be like, alright, welcome to the Thieves' Guild. I don't think there's anything else of value right here. You, were saying? You, could, you could just take everything if you want. Ooh, good money. For some reason, there's a lot of this stream is very quiet, and I can't hear your end of it. Anytime you pick up gold, it's full volume, though. Anytime you I'm just imperial, pick up gold, just I hear too. you just hear the clink of gold, of shiny, shiny gold. I'm so shiny, like a melody in my hair, like a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just combine Shoddy's like a melody with the crab song from Moana? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Shiny. I sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck. Whatever the lyrics were. Strut my stuff. Make me feel shiny. And then you just did Shoddy like a melody. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good combination. I, I I come up with things. Where the fuck did that broom go? There it is. It's Where... in your miscellaneous. You... Wait, I can't equip a broom? No, unfortunately How... not. How else am I supposed to pretend I'm a... Uh... Slave person sweeping the floor. Shit! Stop stealing the wrong stuff! <laughs> I keep accidentally stealing the wrong stuff. Items. Miscellaneous. It's like a Dear Abby moment. Dear Abby, every time I try to steal something, I keep grabbing the wrong stuff. Beggar book. Another beggar book? Aye, well, you stole that one. You would have gotten pickpocket from that, but you've already read it. Oh. I'm playing Tomodachi Life. What should Shaquille O'Neal say when he gets angry? I'm thinking time for Shaq Fu. Excuse me? I'm playing Tomodachi Life, and Shaquille O'Neal wants to know what he should say when he's mad. I'm saying time for Shaq Fu. Balmer Blood Elixir. Is that worth anything? Yeah, well, it said it has a value of one, and that's not even the full thing that you're getting, so no. Falmer Blood Elixir was what Brynjolf was trying to sell. God, the shine again. <laughs> Falmer Blood Elixir was what Brynjolf was selling in the uh, stands so that you could do the distraction and plant the ring on Branche. It's it's snake oil, is what it is. Ooh, what happens if I forge numbers here? Uh, nothing. Unfortunately, because that's quest only.
I already have fine clothes. I'm already wearing fine clothes. Why would I want more? You're about to get a good armor set in a little bit once you complete this quest, though. And start the next one. Money. You can, you can kick all this stuff off the tables. Unfortunately, there are no plates here. Yes, there is. I mean, there's a bowl, oh, a bowl, but it's not a plate. You have wooden trays? Wooden. Those are wooden plates, sure. I don't know. They have a weight of 0. 0.5. I wouldn't... I wouldn't pick them up just yet. When I definitely do my Skyrim playthrough, I'm picking up all the plates I can. Well, you really just wanted to clean this place out, huh? Of course. I'm an Imperial. <laughs> Are the Imperials just an allegory for... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to finish oh. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that would not... You know what? Well, because bro. I didn't say anything, YouTube can't ban me for hate speech and for being anti-Semitic. And you know what? If anyone accuses... <laughs> If anyone accuses Wait. me of being anti-Semitic, I could just say that they're anti-Semitic, because why Why is that the first thing that they went to, huh? No, you got a point there. I didn't say anything. This is more about them than it does me. Is it, though? Yes, yes, it does. Just ignore that I also said the same thing. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think it's time for some sippy. Some sippy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no funny sippy this time. Did I already say, girl, are you from Mississippi on stream? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did, but I, I'll, I'll say it again. It's fine. Hey, girl, are you from <laughs> are you from Mississippi? Because you're the only miss who's piss I sippy. Oh. <laughs> that one. I have a vague memory of saying that one. <laughs> uh, Weak poison, potion health, light feet. Yeah, the poison do little damage. The potion of health give you, like, increases your maximum health for 60 seconds, and then light feet makes you sneaky. That's the spirit. Last thing's in your blood. Air tails shine with a... Yeah. I think you're more than... He's calling you sneaky. He's saying that you're a thief. We've run into a problem. But it's not tell you what. You keep making us and I'll worry about everything. Now if there are no more questions, how about following you to what you get? You're about to be you're about to be sent to the cool kids club. Congrats you got an achievement, taking care of business. Oh, uh, there's Delvin, Malaroy, or whatever his name is. Secret passage. He's there somewhere. He's following. Oh, there yeah. you go. Come on, buddy. NPCs you have this thing where they stop walking if you're a certain distance from them. I also think they're faster than your walking speed, but slower than your running speed, so it's just very annoying all around. Going to the giant cistern. Mr. Mr. Listern, the cistern, fistern. Fisting my sister in the back of the car? Yeah, in Wait. the back of the cistern. I just took damage, damage from, from the cart. cart. Yeah, it, it do that sometimes. Welcome to Skyrim. Take Cart with you. We will call him Cartman. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm walking. taking this cart with me. This cart will be my calling cart. What are you turning around? Because you need to be a bit closer to him or something. Yeah, if you get <laughs> if you get far away, he'll just stand and look at you. If you get closer, he'll continue walking. Anyways, I'm gonna give my me some creamy stew right now.
perfect for you. There is Matt Mercer. What do you have to say for yourself, Matt Mercer? Is Bernjolf down there? Yes. Okay. He's not supposed to be. All right. I pushed him off with the, the well, card. With the, the card. <laughs> he just stood there. All right. Anyways, <laughs> Mercer's talking. You can talk to him or something, and he'll tell you all about like how to be a thief or something. I was definitely paying attention to everything you said. Don't listen to this asshole. He's gonna give you the hardest job, which is to go into the place that no one else could get to, and you're stubbing your toe on this cart over and over again. <laughs> Brynjolf, I'm not so sure about this guy. He appears to be killing himself on a wooden cart. Hello there, Wrinkles Man. Anyways, you need to talk to Brynjolf now. Yeah, awesome. So just ask about the job and they'll tell you what to do. Ew, an elf? Don't worry, I'll show that fucker his place. And this can't be flagged for hate speech because it's racism against a fictional race, which does not count. So burn only three beehives. Yeah, so just use the fire spell to burn down three beehives. So basically they just did this whole thing telling about how we're the Thieves Guild, we don't kill if we can't help it, and then they're just... You can kill all those mercenaries if you want to, and also the person in the estate. You can literally just kill everyone there and it'll be of no consequence. So if you want to go full genocide route, be my guest. Uh, where, where do I go get the armor? Is that out in Riften? Nope. That's oh. Well, you can just turn around and go right back. It's right back in the ragged flagon, which is where you were at before. Oh. It should just be right across the way. There's a uh, there's a black room. Okay. It's uh to the left. Not there. Nope. Oh, it's here. Is this? No, that's not the way back to the... I think there is actually armor you could pick up here. Yeah, there are the... Thieves... Whoa, that's a lot of money. Yeah. The strange thing is you're about to get a pair anyways if you talk to Tonelia. A saw? Yes, unfortunately it's miscellaneous. You can't use it. There's guild a guild chest. chest. There's a potion of oh. glibness. 20 speechcraft for 60 seconds. Yummy. That is pretty good. That will give you a lot... These guild gloves. Yummy. That's More light armor, gold. so you can equip that. And you got lockpicking for reading a book. Cabbage, tomato, empty. Potato. potato. Carrot? Potato. No. no carrots. Salt. Salt, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Cabbage. cabbage. My cabbages! Ooh. Congratulations! This is a this is a place to practice your lock picking skills. I think the oh, dumbest. Yep. Yeah. I think they actually do put some stuff in the chest for some reason. Anyways, oh, it's just gold. it's just four gold. It's, 
Yeah, this oh. is just a place to practice your lock picking. There's not really supposed to be anything in the chest. There is a note left by these chests specifically saying not to leave anything in the chests. Really? Yeah. I think there is something in the master chest, but they don't no, it's not worth it. What the fuck? Yeah. Locks are mostly RNG. Oh, it was literally just straight <laughs> Yep, that's the Skyrim experience, baby. Oh. Do not try the master lock. You will not get it. You are you are not get it. Don't bother. You're gonna lose all your lock picks, and I think you might need some lock picks for this next job you're about to do. Probably. All right. Well, you could burn through all of them if you want. Oh, oh. You, oh you were close. Ooh. If I get down to two, I'll stop. All right. Well. Last one. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, master locks are. Barrel, carrot, salt pile, no. tomato, tomato. flour that you could just eat if you want. Man, Chess seeing all Caesar. these f just eat sacks of flour, seeing all this food stuff it really makes me want to do another chef run. I was going to go for a uh, Gordon Ramsay thing, but... Mm -hmm. Black Briar oh, Bri Bri Reserve is really good. Restore stamina, stamina returns for you. Yeah, yikes. Because it's alcohol. It make you regenerate your stamina slower. Yo, that was a lot, a lot of gold. That was 200 gold. That's a lot of lockpicks. And you know what? It doesn't count as stealing for some reason. And there are also it more Thieves Guild hard. gloves right there. <laughs> Shadow Marks is a... It just tells you about the Thieves Guild icons that you're going to see around the world. Egg. 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 Eggs. Yeah. Egg. Click. Egg. Egg. Dude, that's one of my favorite clips. <laughs> I love it so much. I also love the one of the seal making really stupid faces. And then the woman just oh, says, sh speak. And it goes, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's fishing like a, rod? Yeah. I think I believe you can fish in this game. So I can't call this game bad. Because it has fishing. Yep, there there's the classic gold piece. None of the other sound in this game works, but the gold is just fine. <laughs> Garlic. Snowberries. Snowpies. What is that? Do you think Skyrim would have a fact check group? Like the yeah. em <laughs> the Empire would create a group to fact check some people. I'm going to. Uh, Tonelia, yeah, talk to Tonelia, and she'll be like, "All right, <laughs> quite the angle." She's doing the anime girl head tilt angle. Yep. <laughs> that that one studio always does. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade. So basically, she's the person that you talk to if you have stolen goods that you want to sell, because you could s sell stolen goods to her. Mm. I've been in this business a long time. So you get really well acquainted with her. Also, she gives you the good armor. How much gold is good. Then there is the Thieves Guild armor is light armor, which you'll like, and it also increases your carrying capacity. And also mm. makes you sneakier. And also gives you better prices for stuff. So you're probably going to want to equip all of that ASA possible. Go to the apparel. Go down to the Thieves Guild. Carrying capacity increased by 20. Yeah, there you go. You can now walk better. Because you now have 325 carrying capacity. This <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> limps. <laughs> He <laughs> looked like he sucked on a lemon for an hour. <laughs> Look at how far out his chin comes. I will say the first, one of the main things that went into making this guy was the uh, 
make everything stick out as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And now it's coming back so nicely because it makes his, like, entire face stick out beyond the freaking hood. Uh, wonderful. Oh man, I would shudder to see what you could do with, like, race menu where you could make faces even wackier. <laughs> Anyways, if you talk to... If you want to go back into the Thieves' Guild, you could talk to Vex about the unusual gem, and that'll start the quest, No Stone Unturned. Which just sends you on a big fetch quest across all of Skyrim to find those things. And it's really Fine tedious, one. but if you get all of them, it's great, because you start finding a lot of valuable items everywhere. Eh, my nose. Uh, she's leaning against the crates. Right to your left. There she is. Oh, Hello there, bitch. old hag. What's up, Haggit? I called her a hag and Hagrid. Together it makes Haggit. Not the other thing. Who knows? Old Delvin. You want my opinion? We can get out there and start making a name for us. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin. Uh, yeah, is the unusual gem worth anything? Or you could ask her about Golden Glow. Or you could ask her about her big fat hair. Why does her face look like it's melting? <laughs> I don't know. God, all the character models look so bad, I love it. Yeah, 24. And you have one of them. I only buy things I can check around me. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, alright. The best mod in this game is one that gives you quest markers for Stones of Baron Zaya. Hmm. Yeah, good. That wood elf's wit. Smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had to triple the guard? He must have been eight of them. Like he was bearing us, get him. Well, there's an old sewer that jumps into the lake. Mm. Side of the island. That's how I said. Could still be on guard. Did she say the north side of the island? It was. There will be a quest marker there, so you don't need to worry about it. I like the sounds of that. see here. Anyways, once you get back out in Riften, you now have a second way back into the Thieves' Guild since you unlocked the secret exit, now that you're actually in the Thieves' Guild. Yay! Oh, that's a fire. And it'll Don't send you into directly there. into the fun spot. The place where everyone actually matters. Yay, you could into the cistern. Oh, my phone just turned off. I can no longer look at my empty, empty chat. Yeah, I don't even bother looking at my chat, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have one. Why chat with people when I can chat with... me? So... So you need to go to the... If you want to unlock the Thieves' Guild uh, fast travel, you can go to the graveyard, which I think is right across from where you are. Maybe it's to the right, yeah, to the right and into that area. And then you go underneath there and to the right. Go to the right. And, nope, not through that door, but go, yeah. Go into that building and then press the button on that coffin. Because that's actually a button. And it opens up and that's another way into the Thieves' Guild. Huh. That's where you came out of the cistern, and then I told you to go back to talk to that girl so that you can get your armor on. And look, it's another shrine. You know what that means. You know what that means. God, why does everybody look so old? They don't look human. Look at that face. Ugh. Hmm. 
you could try to steal some stuff if you want. I would recommend quick saving before pickpocketing. That's what I was about to do. <laughs> nice. Shut up. You can pickpocket them while you're uh, being detected, by the way. As long as you aren't cart while you're pickpocketing, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, that happens a lot. If you just want to load right now. So that you don't get caught. Load quick. Fibbage. Fibbage. Yeah, like I really need to unlock that gate. Re re mm -hmm. Really important. Potato, tomato, not more flour. No carrot. Some people just don't care at all. You're going into the black bar, man. Why could you do that now? Why does the game just <laughs> Why does the game just let you into the Blackbriar Manor right now? That doesn't make sense. Uh, well, technically, I jumped over the fence, so. Yeah, I mean, but there is something that's supposed to. I'm pretty sure there's something that happens here that you're not supposed to be able to do right now. I didn't hear the gold that time. Such a shame. You need to die, honestly. Carrot! Carrots! Three of them! Yay! Finally! More! Yes, more carrots, finally! They're in the Blackbriar Manor the entire time. That's what Maven Blackbriar is gonna hold over your head. Uh, I saw so. Damn, I stole another broom. <laughs> I can't accidentally stealing brooms. No, honestly, though, I keep doing I don't want them, but I keep doing it. Oh, that's where all those people went. Oh, yeah. I just got. I, I'm not in a good mood. I was playing Tomodachi Life, and uh, I was in a versus match, and I just got hit with the worst RNG possible, and I didn't even get a single match. I just got cleaned out. Man, fuck this game. But right. there's only one problem. I don't remember asking. I want to fill the void with, you know, talking. Yes, you could literally tell me I'm doing stupid shit. Alright, you're doing some stupid shit. What are you doing stealing only carrots from all these people when you could be stealing alcohol? Wow, that's actually a lot uh -huh. of money. That's a lot of drink you can drink. Just think of how drunk you can get off of all that alcohol. Unfortunately, getting drunk isn't a mechanic in this game. Ears, butterfly wings, dark particle. Yeah, you can eat all that stuff, and then you could use the alchemy lab. <laughs> you got some boots. boots. Nice fucking boots, bro. Door? You want to lockpick that door? I guess. It's an expert lock, so there's got to be something good behind it, right? Maybe. Fuck. Hey, you did it. Let's see what's good behind this door. You f Oh, well. Oh, it's the, uh, hmm. D Dark Sacrament. What does, what does it say? Dark Sacrament. Ooh, human heart. Yes. Human flesh, alright. As we all know, pufferfish eat human flesh. Go read the note. I want to see who she has a hit on, on the Dark Brotherhood. Well, at least uh, you got the reserve. There's a note on the ground. It'll probably tell you who she wants dead. Sacrament, await patient results. If you can't handle a simple session, I'll find someone who can. I'll handle immediately. Okay. Maven Black Briar. Yeah. 
She's the person who did this. Hey, who are you? <gasps> Hi, Betty Solis. We're doing all right. We're just, I'm watching this puffer flesh play Skyrim for the first time. This is vanilla. We ain't got no mods installed. But I can't pick up, nah, I can't no. pick up the head and abuse the family with it. <laughs> well, I don't think you need to worry about that because I don't think that's anyone they know. I think that might just be a random skeleton that they found. I think that skeleton is just paper mache. I wouldn't worry about it. There's a there's oh a, shit! My, there's a skeleton inside you, and one day it's going to hatch. <laughs> That's the most disturbing way I could say that. And I love it. I got no Anoa tacos. I have no idea what those are, but they sound nice. Pufferfish, do you know what no one Noah tacos are? Because I do not. I'm going to look that up. Oh, there's actually a place near me that has them. I'll keep that in mind. Huh? Stealing from the wardrobe. Yeah, that's gonna make sure that there'll be a thieves outfit. Hey, <laughs> bad pun for the win. It's a Mexican restaurant here in Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's one by me too. I didn't know about it. Maybe I'll go there. I don't know. What are we talking about? Uh, Mexican restaurants. I don't know. There's a good Mexican restaurant that I. It's just local restaurant where I am called La Fagata. It's another really good place. Yeah. Dibella statue. Going yeah, to... Dibella. She's one of the divines. Well, she's gonna be divine in my pockets with mm -hmm. gold. I've been touched by Dibella. Haha, <laughs> don't look that up on Nexus. That's one of the, uh, that's one of the body enhancement mods. And it truly is an enhancement. Letters, don't care. Oh, I want a Chinese money. food, no. Like real Chinese food or American Chinese food? Because those are two different things. <laughs> He's got a point. I love American Chinese food, like egg rolls and uh, fortune cookies. Don't forget orange chicken. Uh, yes, of course, orange chicken. I have never had good orange chicken. <laughs> uh, you know, I've had... Panda Express and oh, Jesus, that's that's not very good food. Mm-hmm. Garrett, <gasps> I do remember well, going to an you... American Chinese style buffet place. It was a king buffet. <clears throat> More carrot? Well, yeah, that's a lot of carrots. Not enough. It's never enough carrots. You got a sack of flour? Or like Asian buffet? Oh, okay, Asian is fine. <laughs> I actually went shopping today and I got a whole bunch of uh, chicken nuggies. <laughs> nice. Specifically some, uh, some General Tso's or General Tso's chicken nuggies. Hmm. Do I still have... I think I still have some like deep fried mac and cheese. Like in the uh, little bite size. Yeah. That stuff is really good. What the fuck? Let me go. So oh, hi, guys. Hello <laughs> there. Look here. at all these buff people. <laughs> He's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> Brynjolf is taking Brooks a dip. Just getting his feet wet. One of the There's items I just got in Tomodachi Life was a disposable diaper. Okay, I'm going to sell that. I would sure should hope so. I don't want this disposable diaper. <laughs> How many streamers do you think wear diapers just so that they don't have to go to the bathroom? Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, there's the cart. Wait, what? No, I need a key for that door? For that door, yeah. And Where do just... I go to sell uh, that's It's the other way. It's to the left still. No, to the right. <laughs> There, Sorry. that's the way, yeah. I really want to get a kitten, but all I got is a dog. Yeah, well, 
having both of those is it's very fun having like one baby animal and one adult animal of different species because I remember I got a my family got a puppy when we still had a cat that was just fully adult and very much don't want to deal with people but our our child dog imprinted on her and then our dog just started picking up some cat behaviors like laying around in the sun and cleaning herself with her paw yeah, I miss her. Anyways, anytime you want to remake your appearance, you could then do this. This woman is the face sculptor. There she is. Oh, I do have sushi upstairs in case I get hungry. That is, that is right. But I did have a chicken sandwich right before getting here. Eh, too much food and also not enough food. Give special rates to members. Oh, that's so cute. Actually, I actually do think that I still have a uh, a video on my phone of my dog cleaning herself like a cat. Also, who the hell's pinging me on Discord? Okay, it's not what important. Don't worry. Let me check if I still have that. That would be pre twenty twenty one, I think. Uh, I think if, if you're going through your inventory, there will be some stuff that, yeah, it says stolen in the top right, so that you know that it's stolen, so you know to sell that first. Ah, where's the one of my dog? Behaving like a cat, I can't find it. God damn it, I'm looking at all these stupid memes. All these memes are bad. Hang on a minute, nope, that's, those are pictures of my gecko. You have a gecko and you never told me? I'm pretty sure I did tell you, but that was also a few years ago, before I had to go to college, so... No longer. I gave the gecko away. I'm offended. Alright, fine. If you want, I'll DM you some photos of the gecko later. You better. I will. He's cute. He's a leopard gecko, and he has that oblivious smile on his face all the time, as geckos do. My god, I'm so jealous. He was adorable. <laughs> of course he is. He's a gecko. I do not understand geckos. They are so stupid. But they're so cute. They are. The only reason they're alive is because their prey are dumber than they are. <laughs> this is true. And it's funny. <laughs> like, I put a... Just put a mealworm on the ground in front of my gecko. He somehow misses as he lunges for it. The mealworm gets up and starts crawling towards my gecko. It's like, God damn it! both of you are so stupid. Uh, I want to buy a sword. Then buy a sword. You got lots of money. Which one do I buy? Embers and sparks. I think embers is better. Yeah. Yeah, sparks, I believe, gets rid of magicka, which isn't... It takes yeah. half as much magicka damage. Yeah, so th I think that'll take away three... Two or three points of magicka every time they get hit, which isn't really worth anything. No, I think it just deals that damage too, though. Yeah. I don't think it... It deals five damage. Favorite animal would be a python. Which one? Pythons are pretty cool. Favorite... Uh, I don't know. I was going to say favorite pet, but I really like ravens. And those are not a pet animal. Those are wild that you just become friends with. Yeah. But they're still very nice little they are. peppers. They are. It'd be nice just to become friends with them and just meet up every once in a while. You give them food, they give you stuff. I'm trying to get friendly with the ones that are near me at, you know, college, but there's, like, none. I have not seen any crows out here either, and that makes me sad. Yeah, well, you're more city. I'm a little bit out of the city. No, I'm in a I'm in a bit of a suburban area because 
I moved oh. out from MSOE just because I didn't want to be doing that. Now I'm going to a trade school, and it sucks. It's the absolute God. worst. It can't be that bad. Ooh, free horse. Oh. I, I showed up to class every day. I wasn't told to do anything. I had no assignments, and then they failed me because I didn't complete any assignments that they told me not to do. Needless to say, I'm not going back to that class. Yeah, I wonder why. I, I really could have just watched some welding YouTube videos and gotten more stuff done than actually attend a very expensive class. Yeah, I know how you feel. Merry Fair Farm! There's guards here. Yes. Walk by. Act natural. By the way, were you were you hit with those storms? Cause uh Yeah. No really. Yeah. So did I ever tell you about what happened? Uh remember that last hurricane that hit the East Coast? Not the one that just hit us, but the the one before that. Like the big one. Oh um, Yeah. Wait, why can't I swim? You need to look upwards or hold space or something. I am holding space. All right. Um, but apparently, uh, the town I'm in is a literal basin, so all the water <laughs> uh -oh. collects. Yikes. Um, we had an entire bridge underwater. <laughs> oh. That seems like not the point of a bridge. Yeah, so now you can go through the sewer and you can get close to the house. Seems like I have American crows here in Washington. I thought they were just crows. Befriend them. Give them food. They will recognize your face and you'll become their friend. Uh, yeah, give them food and shiny things. You will be... You will have it good in the crow mafia. Yeah, they will literally bring you uh, shiny things. Um, and also, the they'll also tell your friends and you will be friends with all of the crows. It's really cool. It, it's actually something you can do. A guy in New York City, uh, he taught crows what money looked like and that he liked money. And since he fed the crows, they they brought him money. Mm -hmm. Oh, be careful. The tunnel's exploding. There you go. The oil stops there. Fuck do I do now? Wait for the oil to burn away, and now you can walk. Search these, uh, search these New York City rats. Skeevers. I actually have a nest in my backyard. There's a bird sitting there and you see baby eggs. Oh, that's adorable. I never had a bird nest in my backyard, but back in, uh, back in our childhood town, in that little wooded area, there was a wood right by my house, and there was a bridge that went over a little creek. And I remember I was just wading through the creek one day trying to catch frogs, and I saw that there was a nest there with some baby eggs in them. And I remember I thought it was cool, so I left and came back, and there was a new egg that didn't look anything like the other ones. And that's how I learned about parasitic breeders. About birds that will just lay their eggs in other birds' nests and then just leave. And it's really funny. Yay! I love it up progress thing. During the summer, I mean? Yeah, I could assume. Not right now. Now would be a not good time to... Ooh, did you read that book, Guide to Better Thieving? It might give yes, you... I did. did it give you, what, pickpocket? Yeah. Okay. Thought it would. Yeah, because it is... It's not... Gold. It's not the big storms that we're getting right now, but I'm right by a lakefront. So... Wow. Yeah, apparently, um, when the last storm hit, apparently people's dorms were, like, a few inches from flooding. Damn. And on top of that, people's cars were underwater. <laughs> Just floating down the river. No, like, seriously, they were actually, like, floating. Oh, that's, that's awful. Away. Yeah, and I'm sitting here in, like, a nice little off-campus student living. What the fuck? I just look at all those bones. Well, yeah, the bones will fling you around and you'll take damage. It's great. Cart. Another cart. Now you could take more damage. Ow. Oh, 
Um. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to be a trap, but it's already set off. So who cares? <laughs> you can walk into it without taking damage. But yeah, I live a little way from the lake, so just as it was kind of snowing today, I just walked out all the way to the lake. It was great. The waves were huge and crashing. The wind was very strong. Have snow? Yeah. Only like one inch, if that much. I didn't shovel the driveway. I scraped snow off of it. Because most of it had just melted by that point. But you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to wait. Uh, how do I do that again? T? T. Oh, no, there are enemies nearby. You can't wait. You can go back into the sewer and wait, though. Or you could just kill everyone. That's an <laughs> Killing everyone is another option. I'll wait ten hours. Perfect. Just sat here in the sewer doing nothing for ten hours. No, no. I only was in here for six hours. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, of course. Big difference. And now that it's nighttime, it's harder to see you. Exactly. Good luck. I believe in you. I believe. I believe you can get past this expert lock. I should be able to. At least I hope so. Fuck. Well, oh. Close. I always love seeing baby birds. Yeah, I love baby crows just because they look so disgusting. They're my favorite. I've never seen a baby crow. I have. They they look disgusting. They're so adorable. How about baby emus? Because they have claws. And they can walk around and climb using that. And they jump around and they're still getting used to their very awkward legs. So now you could go to Arangoth, who is on the second story, and get the key to his safe. Or you could just attempt to pick the lock on the safe. Which I think you is mean another. The guy over there? Nope, that's a mercenary. You are on the first floor right now. If you go up to the second floor. No, Hi guys. Okay, I was gonna say he didn't see you, but you could just jump out and uh, attack them, which is fine. Don't forget, you're getting bonus experience from using magic, so if you want to start fire blasting them. Hold on. Oh wait. Also, it looks like you can level up, and here's the good part: you can wait to level up. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, Want to put it in your left hand? Yes. So now it's in both your hands. Okay. Yeah, Wait, you just really? Do it. Yeah, you have fire in both your hands now, so now you can shoot out two blasts of fire. Awesome, one of them died. Did he? Yeah, I saw him drop to the ground. And now that's in your left hand. <laughs> I know, it's so awkward. I really wish pressing right-click put it in your right hand. But alas, life be like this. Also, if you don't want it, here's something cool you can do with level up. Every time you level up, it fully restores your health. So if you're in the middle of a fight and your health gets low, just level up during it and it'll restore all your health. Interesting. I shall choose stamina again. Right. And I shall go over to sneak. And now you are harder to detect when stealthing. And then I shall reassign magic. And now you are a complete firebender. Talking about firebenders isn't the same when Brett isn't here to make Avatar The Last Airbender references with me. Oh, wait. Uh, five. I hey, you learned the quicksave button. 
Yeah, so Aaron Goth is up there. <gasps> She's got a Billy Bass. Yeah, uh, <laughs> press the button, it'll start singing. Where? <laughs> I can't this find the count. coin slot. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> 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 Uh, also, I'm confused why this doesn't count as stealing, but okay. Yeah, so am I. Don't, don't worry about it. Search up how many birds is, uh, there are in Washington where I live. I'm not sure. There are probably quite a few. Yeah, like... Probably around that area there will be a lot of migratory patterns that cross there. Sack. Sakheel O'Neal. You know what they say. One in the sack. Two in the... I don't know. I don't know, but I got... There was a hat in there. Well, you know what they say. God damn, I didn't mean to pick up the stupid pot. Always love black wings. Birds with black wings are cool. Especially hawks. Hawks are big. I have good memories of going down the river and feeding hawks and eagles. You would catch a sunny and then hold it up and throw it outwards and birds would come down and snatch him up. Oh, uh, yeah. Ha, ah, memories. Unfortunately, the last time I went rafting was during the Canadian wildfires. You could not see the sun in midday. It was really cool and also scary because we were breathing that shit in. I have destruction... <laughs> I'm destroying stuff. I'm in danger. Bunk. Is he right behind you? Or is that Aaron Goth that detects you? I don't know. Oh no, it's that guy. Hello. Just tap him with your sword a few times. Hey, look at my sword. My sword is really cool. Do you like it? Look at my sword. I heard some of that. That was fun. You could hide his armor. Oh, there's another mercenary. Oh, no, he's running away. <laughs> I'd recommend eating food or taking a potion right now. Or no, you might kill him before he... Okay, there we go. Now we eat food. Well, you only have carrots to heal you. The black briar is just for stamina. You know what you could do? Potion. You do have some... Uh, you have restoration spells, which will heal you. If you don't want to drink the potion... I drank the potion. Well, if you already drank the strange potion, now it's going to happen to you. Huh? Guess what's going to happen to you? You drank the strange potion. Do I die? No, nothing happens. Oh. Love to make bird feeders when it's summer again? Yeah. I don't know. What's something fun to make for birds? Bird feeders? Uh, bird houses? Bird condos, bird apartment complexes, bird apartment simples. And now put your weapons away because you can actually talk to this guy here instead of just killing him immediately. Oh, a pickaxe. There is a pickaxe if you want that. You are going to need that to mine. Hello there. You could just take that stuff from him. <laughs> Alright, you don't even need to talk to him. You could just leave if you want. Awesome. Alright, so you discovered something. Uh, if you talk to him, you don't really glean any new information, but he will attack you. Uh, or you could just do what you did, pickpocket the key off of him and leave, which is a good way to keep him alive. Yes. So congrats for discovering that. Oh. Uh, are there some people over there? 
Oh, the people see you. Repose. They're unguarded. <laughs> Perfect. Ow. Your toes. Yeah, Hand them head. over. Why can't I stand up? Don't know. Just keep bonking him over the head with your sword. He's on the ground. He's not dead yet. Oh, hey, if you level up, you'll get healed. Eat fire. Eat this fire. Oh. There we go. You can fur his armor. Damn, stop picking up things you don't need. What is this? That's a door. It goes to the floor. Right there. You got it. Money. Gold coins. Anything else? There are books on that top shelf. Or any of them good books. Nope, all these books nope. suck. All, all brief history of the Empire. But we're Imperials. We know all about the history. For example, ten years ago, the Empire came into being by a man who just said, you don't want to go outside just yet, because... Actually, no, no, you could burn down the bee farms now if you want. Yes. Make sure to only burn three of them, or else Brynjolf gets mad at you. Okay, well... Yeah, I'd recommend going to get this stuff in the safe first, and then you could come Wait, back out. And... Where's the safe? It's in the basement. There were stairs? Yeah, there's a basement around here somewhere. I think you killed everyone in here, so you don't need to worry about being sneaky anymore. It wasn't there. I remember it was behind a metal gate. Kind of. Oh. Yeah, it's right over there. Misa know where that is, I think. Hmm. I think it's over here. Yes. Up right. That is correct. I remember the layout of this house because I've done this quest too many fucking times. Can't wait next week. What's happening next week, Betty? I'm quite curious. <laughs> you have one lockpick left. Yeah. Nope. To the right more. To the right. There you go. <laughs> That was lucky. With this last lockpick, I stab at thee. You want to take a lantern? Sack. Damn it. Mm. A sack full of apples. Damn That's it. You put a sack full of sacks? There's a sack full of sacks of flowers. Flower oh, inside sack. a sack of flour inside a sack of flour inside a sack of flour. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, yeah, there, are, there are the murkies here. They're blocking with their little maces. They ain't doing much. Oh, great. These people are racist. Because as you all know, every squad got the racist, the racist, the racist, and the cellar racist. Key. I don't think you need that anymore because you're in the no, cellar. The cellar key. Great, I love finding cellar keys after I'm already in the cellar. Nope, not even gonna risk that. I don't think you need the lockpicks anymore since you already have the key to the safe. I might need No, to I think that just goes out to Golden Glow Estate. That's not where the safe is. But it said to go out here. That's to go tell to go back. That's, it had the icon above the door. Yeah, that's just telling you that there's another objective outside, because there's also one below you, a little bit. Oh. Because you can display multiple quest objectives at once, so... Imagine leaving your house this fucking dirty. Ugh. Billy Bass! Damn, you live like this? Oh, an entire fucking moose. 
That's from The Godfather. Has Been Hotel will be on Prime Video. Oh. I don't know about Has Been Hotel. We need our resident racist and Asian person to talk about that for us. It's just a scratch. You scratched him so hard that oh. he died. Wait, Oil nice. floor. Not with a sword, no, but if you use a little bit of magic. But but it's a fire sword. Yes. Unfortunately, it only happens when you touch a living person to the fire. Now light it up and watch it blow. Demon Slayer will have another season on February 29th? Oh. But still I... none of the good shows. <laughs> well, them's fighting words. I don't Fine. really watch... I don't watch any shows ever, so I cannot speak to the quality of any show ever. Oh, money. I swear, it's always the most consistent... Don't forget to take the stuff from the safe. You can unlock it because you have stuff. One lockpick left. Were you going to risk this opportunity? Would you let it? Oh, no, you got it. All right. I can't do the rest of lose yourself. And remember, never invest skill points into the lockpick tree. What? Well, yeah, this sends you back... This text send, sends you back out to the sewers, so you could just go back out through the front door of Golden Glow if you want, or you could go down there and... Because you still need to burn the beehives, do not forget. Yes. Remember, quick save and burn only three of them. Uh, where are they? In they relation to what? Right over there. All the way over there. Is it the big one? Or that? It's the big one. The big one means it's closer. The small one with the logo over the black thing means that you need to go inside a door for that. Gotcha. Gotcha? I hate those style of games. So do I. I have a gotcha game called, what is it, Reverse 1911 or something? I have not played it yet. I got it a long time ago because I heard it was really good. Reverse 1999, that's what it is. I heard it's good, have not tried it, despite it sitting on my phone screen for long. Birthday's on a Saturday this year? Oh. I'll need to remember... Wasn't it the end of August? I don't know if I'm remembering that correctly. What was the end of August? Uh, someone's birthday. I don't know. Ah. Mem memory bad. Memory is either all or nothing. And most more often than not, it is nothing. Just like the one gender, it's nerf or it's nothing. Okay, so I have to burn only three. Only three, or else Brynjolf will get really mad at you and he'll tell you off. He'll grab you aside and start shaking you and be like, What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck did you just do? That is... Wait, hang on. Look at them. Look at the... One, two, three. Okay, yeah, good. For some reason, I thought there was a fourth one. You're playing with fire. Anyways, you don't need to actually fight these people. You can't just run around and leave and desert them. Oh, wait. There's a lot of them in there. Yeah. I'd recommend just running away. Because remember, running away I is a valid tactic. <laughs> you guys can't swim. Haha, ha, nobody knows how to swim. I'm going to make it past <laughs> the border wall. Haha. Ha. And I'm guessing this one back towards the place I just came from is... uh. Yeah, probably where you need to go. And unfortunately, you can't fast travel because you are in combat. Oh, I don't care. I wasn't even playing on fast traveling. <laughs> All right. We could just experience the world. Get fully immersed. Don't fast travel anywhere. Walk all the way there and then sleep when it's late and eat and then get tired. 
and stub your toe and have to spend an hour nursing it back to health. Toe stubborns. The toe stubbers. That's my favorite yeah, that guild in this game, mafia. the toe stubbers. That'd be a fucking mafia. <laughs> they just randomly show up and but stub your toes. To as you're, no, just as you're walking, they just randomly mm. show up and they put something in the way. Uh, I'm just imagining it like a like some sort of magic guild. Like there was this, like there was this like race or not race, but like this clan of people in Elder Scrolls called the Sigic Monks, and sometimes they just stop time and show up to people, and just be like, "Hey, yo, what's up?" I'm imagining it's like that. They just show up out of nowhere and just start putting stuff in front of your feet, and you just stub them. <laughs> oh, that would be gr that would be great. Is that going to be added to the D and D campaign now? <laughs> I'm actually considering. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, one of the, the, the races I was going to add, I was going to add the thumb people from Spy Kids. <laughs> oh, I love those people. <laughs> that would be great. Or... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I going to get am I going to get kicked off the platform for hate speech again? Yes. <laughs> well, it's a fictional race, so it doesn't matter. Those stupid fucking thumb people. We should put them in camps. Remember, it doesn't count because they're a fictional race. This doesn't count as hate speech. It's not a real protected race. Oh my god, YouTube doesn't care. I mean, evidently they do, because two of my videos got hit. For the dumbest bullshit. No, you're right. YouTube doesn't care. They'll take down this video anyways. That's been a long 20 minutes for the bread man. Uh-huh. He said he would be on and off. And right now, he's off. Of course. Yes, man. It's almost been three hours. Yo, he's doing the rank right now. I love the animation on Reverse 1999, though I remember one game my friend begged me to play Genshin Impact. Oh. No. Ew, Genshin. Evil Genshin Impact be like, the age of consent Gen is 18. <laughs> Listen, I do have some respect for Genshin Impact because the community is just fucking insane. Like, what was it? They didn't get an item that they wanted for, uh, like, some anniversary edition? Because someone just spread propaganda that they were getting something that they never did. So then they just went on a bunch of other apps on Google Play and started rating them one star. <laughs> and just Bruh. being stuff like Genshin Impact Anniversary Bad. And it was like all this stuff, like all of a sudden, like suddenly Google Classroom's rating on the Google Play Store dropped just because the Genshin Impact community was mad. It's the funniest shit to me. <laughs> Bruh. Well, it's great. You, no, you bastard, get back here. And there was a... Was it during the Game Awards, like, Sonic was getting, like, best community or something? And then the Sonic community started being a bit... Getting a bit too big for their britches and being like, Oh, Genshin Impact, where's your huge big community, huh? After winning the first two rounds, and Genshin Impact was like, Alright, you know what? Fuck you guys. And then just on the third day, absolutely blew Sonic out of the water and took the Game Award for... What is it? Best ongoing game, I think? And it was really funny, just watching them take down Sonic like that. Hey, look, it's the bitch. Oh, uh, yes. There she is, the bitch. She draws on her eyebrows every day to be as bitchy as possible. I bet my D&D &D character would think this woman is actually kind of attractive. Ugh, she is disgusting. Her favorite smell is freshly burst boils. Her best friend oh, in high school was Saggy Maggie. Genshin Impact got on my nerves because of how many ads. Uh, are there ads in game? Because I did play it on PC and I didn't get that many ads. I I, I remember there was a character in Genshin called Ella Musk. That's one of the things I remember from it. They literally just gender bent Elon Musk into being a small girl and put her in the game. I will say that the music is very good. That is that is one thing I'm willing to give the game. Huh? 
The music in Genshin, it it be very good. It goes doo dee 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 doo stab da dee da dee dee ding. Want to hear a little more? No. Okay. <laughs> I want to go home now. Uh, now, now you get to go to the Sabion. Remember that guy? Remember that metery that you were gonna blow up? Yes. You get to go back there, and you get to put him out of business. Done. <laughs> you get How to. Get put him out of business. You get to poison his everything? fucking mead. Yo. Yeah, you go to the, the Malice, whatever his name is. Yeah, and he's like, "Hey, I have this plan." So basically. You're gonna get him to give you a rat poison, and then you're gonna put it in the mead. And you're like, done. Where am I going? To the left. To the left. But what's, what's the place called? Uh, you're gonna need to speak to Malice Machinus in, uh... Whiterun. Okay. Yeah. There's a place in Whiterun where he's gonna need to tell you about the job. You could just fast travel back there. You don't need to hire the carriage back oh. to Whiterun. I can do that? Yeah. You can fast travel there, because you've been there before. You can fast travel to any location you've already been. From anywhere wow, you want. Wow, this is like anime. This is so innovative. The future innovative? is now. Innovative. No, that's not where you want to go. Alright, you know what? Hit J. Just to get rid of that other marker. I'm running this way. That is the way you want to go. I'm guessing it's this big building right here. Yeah. That's Braith. If you could kill children. <laughs> Destruction magic. Destroy the child. Why are you equipping healing? <laughs> Wait, I didn't equip healing, did I? Yes, you did. Go into all. There we go. Destroy the child. <laughs> What? What is happening? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> why does she not take any damage? And why does nobody care that you just set that child on fire? What? Alright, apparently Braith is too powerful for this game. <laughs> and nobody cares. Zuko, did you know that children are impervious to fire bending? Hey, look, it's Sadia. Oh, I remember oh, her quest line. Oh, oh, yes! Uthgird. Oh, you know what you need to do? Equip the gloves of the pugilist so you get bonus on arm damage. Yes. In the apparel section. This should be up more. Uh, there they are, gloves of the pugilist. Now punch her in the face. You're on. No weapons, no magic. On YouTube and Honkai Star Racing. Yeah, they do have a lot of advertisements there. <laughs> there you go, finally got it. I think it'll just, if you're in a brawl, it'll automatically make you equip your fists so you don't need to worry about it. Look at how much damage you're doing because of those gloves. Bonk, you win. Congratulations. Well, let me get that ass. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. You're breaking <laughs> YouTube sexual misconduct right. policy. Good thing this I is only it. going because you're crouching. I love there was a. Uh... <laughs> if you get an execution cam on someone, like actually kill someone while using unarmed, you can fucking suplex them. It's insane. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> It was great the first time that happened to me. My character just grabbed them and suplexed them in like a split second. I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Sheesh. I went, sheesh. You were supposed to see uh, to no. Malice. Ow. Not Mikhail, to Malice. He's over on the right side, not out there, no. Hit Jay. And then, 
just go to your quests and unselect the one that you're not doing so that it doesn't get in your way. Fine, kick all that stuff off the table first. What? I can't move the pot? Nope. Fuck this. Hello there, Matt Mercer. You look pale. Bro. <laughs> this guy isn't a dark elf. He's just a Nord who's very pale who never went outside. Even though my friend would beg me to play Genshin Impact, I told him I'd play it, but I never did. <laughs> you told a fib. I know what that's like. Because we keep saying we'll play Castle Crashers together, and we haven't done it yet. We've just been busy with other stuff. Like D&D. &D. I can't wait till we run into the Toe Stubber Mafia. I wonder if I just put Toe Stubber into like an AI, what it'll. Toe Stubber Mafia, what it'll put out. <laughs> Hang on, now I gotta see what this is like. Uh. Toe Stubber Mafia. I'm very curious. Go to the advanced parameters. Go to parameters all over their face. Genshin made me feel like a furry with how many animals or creatures there are. That's a new one. I don't know the meme about Genshin players being furries. I know that's a Sonic thing, but... Listen, it's not quite furry Whoa. yet, because... Oh. Ah, uh, yes, the biggest enemy in Skyrim. Fall damage. Oh, I thought it was Cart. No, Cart is... Cart's just a low-level enemy. The, there are that two most dangerous enemies in Skyrim's are mud crabs and fall damage. I have not seen a single mud crab yet, and I'm sad. Well, you might find one along the shore right here. No, nope, never mind. Nurn root. Yeah. Shut up. Nurn root giving you the shiny giving you that shiny sound. I hate it. But listen, the Genshin characters don't count as furries because they are more human than animal characteristics. There is a graph of this. I cannot pull it up right now, but there is a graph oh, yeah. of how far. Someone told me the other day that cat girls were a uh, a furry. Furry and bullshit. I yeah, I was like, no. It depends There's on how cat. much cats. No, like my definition. Oh, of like cat girl. just like with the ears and tail, and that's yep. it. Just ears and tail, no hair anywhere else. That's not furry. Yeah, you can get that with accessories. Yes. You don't need a fur suit to look like that. That's bull. Yeah. I think that person was actually a furry. I hope you're not expecting to get into That's me to turn it right back around on them. Uh, yell skeever. I do remember that intimidation, I think, was the only way to get this money. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Because here's the thing, you're not going to complete that job, you're going to fucking poison everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Malice, I know that guy. He's the one who's helped me run you out of business. I was yawning there. Uh, we've been streaming for two hours, 54 minutes now. I just want to say that I have not been watching this on Discord at all. I'm watching this through OBS. Really? So, so that's that's another layer of of bad. Yeah, I can only imagine. Streaming it through Discord, onto OBS, onto my channel. Skeevers punch them in the face. Oh, wait, these are Venom Fang Skeevers. These are the tough ones. Well, I mean, you could, <laughs> you 
could change to the flames if you want. I like you got flame in one hand, spark in the other. I think it I is mean, just better to have two flames because Venom Fang Skeevers don't have Magicka. Level up right now! Level up right now! Okay, you're dead. Oh. Well, BS, disconnect and reconnect. What just happened? Everything looks to be fine. Hang on, let me look on YouTube. Is the stream still working? I don't know. It looks like the stream is still working. I'm pretty sure it's still working. What just happened? I have no idea why OBS just did that. Alright, I guess we're fine. I right, don't worry about it then. Fine, then you know what? Fine, I'm gonna go on to Korra. I'm gonna see what's... Ugh. Why am I so tired? You can't upgrade speech yet. You get a bit more speech. Can't upgrade destruction, though. Here's someone saying, ever realized how fucking surreal reading a book is? You stare at marked slices of trees for hours and end up hallucinating vividly. They have a point. <laughs> oh, an amethyst. Why do these skeevers just carry around gems on them? Because they eat things that are shiny. I'm stuck. I, I hope you're stuck so I could teach you the new... Oh, We still haven't taught you the command because you haven't needed it yet. We're going... Uh, here's a meme. Macarons. They are mostly air. They have no nutritional value. They come in whatever flavor the general public wants, and they're for rich people. Meanwhile, Macron is the same, but he's president of France. I didn't know that people actually live in France. I thought it was just a meme. To all the French people out there, you have my condolences. Yeah, for some reason, these skeevers are actually threatening. Don't forget, you can equip restoration spells and heal yourself. You can heal thy burgers. You're about to die. I can see the future. <clears throat> Shut up. Why is my shield never work? I don't know. Well, first make sure that uh, you unequip the gloves of the pugilist, because I think the Thieves Guild gloves are better, slightly. I believe so, yes. Uh... Oh, yeah, wait, I, you need fucking to, rat. I need to check my AI. They should have gotten done with the Toe Stubber Mafia by now. What the f- No. That is a woman in a bikini. That is not Mafia. AI, why are you like this? Hmm. Fine then, whatever. No Toe Stubber Mafia today. Congratulations, you have learned to heal. And now when you heal, you will start to feel just a little better. Careful because there are a lot of there are a lot of fucking rats. Uh, you got a taxia. Good job, asshole. Oh no, now I'm sick. Oh no, now I got cancer. You're gonna wanna level up like right now. Yeah, so I can see that. So that you can get that. healed. Uh, magic. You haven't invested at all into health yet. I am aware. You want more restoration? All right. Well, now restoration spells cost half magic. There you go. Oh, wow, you almost got another level up. I think I did. Nope, not yet. Oh, You're just a few there. parts away from it. Ooh, amethyst. And a skeever tail. You're probably going to want a quick save now so that you don't lose that progress. Wait, what was that? Silver garnet ring. Why Where do the these do Why do these rats have so much jewelry? They're rats. They're like crows. They just stole shiny stuff all the time.
why the fuck are there spiders? Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. Frostbite spiders or whatever. Yeah, they're called frostbite spiders. Hey, I remembered something. The big spiders. Hi, you didn't even see the biggest spider yet. Because he ain't in that area. You could just funnel them into that little tunnel. Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to do, but they have a ranged attack that I don't. Yeah, they spit venom at you. I really want to see an American crow, but I'll have to uh -huh. wait a while. I mean, I could crow for you. Oh, yeah, your enchanted what? sword ran out of charge, so it no longer deals fire damage. What? I know, it's bad. That's why I like mods, because there are mods that let you just recharge it at will. So that it never loses charge, and it's a really good enchantment mod. So you're probably going to want to change your weapon to a mace if you still have it, just to get the bonus damage. No, but I like the speed. Yeah, okay then. In that case, keep the sword up. I mean, if you kind of like the speed, then axes are middle of the road. Heal! Run away! Oh, he poked well, you. Well, that's unfortunate. Betty, I can help you see an American crow, because I can crow right now for you. I can't help you with a baby crow, because of... <laughs> ah, yeah! Alright. There you go. You, the you have seen two storm. Americans crow. Congratulations. <laughs> meow. Now that's an American meow. No, that's an that's American short hair. Mm. You are the short hair. Because your hair is short, not you. I'm the American long hair. I go, hey, I'm walking here. No, that's an Italian uh, short hair. <laughs> that's the Italian New Yorker. The Italians go, hey, Maron. Another ring! Why do the spiders need rings? They don't even got fingers, they got legs. Stay on fire, please. This spider's on fire. Oh yeah, by the way, I think you can attach venom to your weapons. So if you have a sword. I can, yeah. And applying poison is the most annoying thing in this game because you need to attach it to your weapon. You need to take out your weapon and then go into your inventory and apply poison and then hit them once and then go back into your menu and apply the poison again. Wait, that's seriously how that works? Yes. It's really annoying. That's why I like mods to streamline life and make life easier. You are poisoned and taking damage. You have next to no magicka. Every tiny bit of health helps. I remember one of my friends that called me a little rat. Oh, well. You know what? I I am on Korra, and I can tell you there is a rat empire on there. And for being on Korra, there are actually really cool people. I would take rat as an insult. Er, compliment. I mean, compliment. It's not an insult, I promise. Congratulations. Now don't die to the poison. Alright, I really recommend healing now because it's about to get even worse. Oh, it's been, we've been streaming for three hours already. And where the hell is Brett in all this? Is he not coming back? Nope, probably not. Uh, if he ever says he's leaving for any amount of time, it's usually going to be about 50 times that, or not at all. Yeah, but he came back the last few times. Yeah, don't count on that ever happening again. Oh, this is just a once in a... Yeah, I, dude, I was so surprised he actually did come back. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I just have that effect oh, wow. on people. Yeah, uh, did, by the way, did you quick save? You're going to want to quick yeah, save before going to this I, next I part. Save, I quick save a little bit ago. All right, cool. Um, also, After the spiders? Say, I walked, I, yeah. Okay, good. Um, I walked on this bear trap, it closed, and I didn't get hurt. <laughs> bear traps are weird. It's because most Mexicans are short. Oh, well. 
Are they short? What's the average height for a Mexican? Hang on. Nope. Uh, now I gotta look this up. Ow. Average height for a Mexican. Why did it immediately go to shopping? <laughs> wait, what? Average height for a Mexican. Shopping. Hang on. No, wait. Now I want to see this. You... What the f... Oh, it's a book. Uh, all I saw was used pre-owned e-boys. And I was very concerned. Oh, wait. It's Mexico, so it's not in... Imperial. 167 centimeters for the male height. Average female height is 158 centimeters. That's just a smaller hitbox. That makes them more overpowered. Meanwhile, in our friend circle, we have people with the biggest hitboxes. But also, like, I am large. yeah, you have a very large hitbox, but also you are invincible, so it doesn't even matter. Meanwhile, here I am at 510 in all my rage. If I could have just two more inches to make me taller. Yeah. Well, since you're not using your bottom half, why don't you take the two inches from there? Yeah, you know, a good point. Oh, uh, that's a lot of sh Why is there a person? <laughs> That's Hamelin. He's been living down here. And he is the worst part of this entire section. And many people doubt Mexicans can hit hard with their hands? Really? Is that a stereotype? Mm. I, don't know. I don't know too much about stereotypes. I have not... Listen, I have not needed to be racist for a while, yeah. so I don't not know about other people's cultures that much. I know that, like, like, what is the best, like, people that are in, like, brawls? Is it, like, Romanians or something? Uh-oh. Did Skyrim crash? Puffer? Puffer? Uh, hello? Is everything all right? Uh, this is awkward. All right, well, I think Puffer is dead. Hang on. <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh. Oh, yep, yeah, his computer crashed. Hang on, I just, I just want to... Just get out of this. Get out of this. I'm going to... <laughs> yep, his computer crashed. Awesome. Alright, well, uh... I'm just gonna cut to the end stream, then. <laughs> Alright, well, stream is, uh... It's, it's, stream is over, I guess. I'll, I'll stay here and chat for a little while, I guess, but... Because it's only been three hours, it's, I guess, a bit shorter in terms of streaming as far as we go. But yeah, I don't know about that stereotype that Mexicans can't hit hard. Unless you want to go down with a wet wire or hanger or very hard sandals. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a that, that's a Mexican weapon of choice. The sandal. How could I forget the chancla? Oh, yep. Yeah. There goes the call. The call is officially over. I'm going to disconnect now. Awesome. So we lost... What was it? We, It was Bread Puffer and I. And then we lost Bread partway through that. I forget how far. And then it was just me and Puffer. And then he killed the guy, and the guy was so powerful that he crashed Puffer's computer. Alright, well... Hopefully I'm reminded next time, because he's probably gonna need to do that quest again. So I'm probably just gonna, next time, tell him about the T-I-M command. Or T-G-M. Because that is some BS. That is classic Skyrim crashing like that. I have also had that issue playing Nolvis that sometimes it will just crash, but... Yeah. Oh, this is making me... I've been playing Nolvis a lot. It's so good to finally see some uh, vanilla Skyrim again. And I just forget how bad it is. Uh, but it's the fun type of bad. Great, now I want to rewatch all of Jello Apocalypse's uh, Chef Skyrim. <laughs> That's one of my favorite videos on the internet. 
just because uh, uh, just because good luck and don't forget that you had to send those geckos pic oh yeah you know what you know what I'm actually gonna email those gecko pictures to myself right now just so that I don't forget and then I'm gonna put one of them in stream hang on a minute uh, this is gonna take a while but while I'm doing this let me talk about <laughs> where the where's the photos at there it is let me just talk about how uh, the jello apocalypse is one of my favorite Skyrim videos just because uh also, while I'm here, let me get the image of my dog cleaning herself like a cat. <laughs> so, it's just Yellow Apocalypse. Uh, they got Feindal as a follower by doing his quest. And they just started basically abusing his friendship for the entire time. By, uh... By getting him to train them to be better at archery, and then going into his inventory and taking all their money back, and then just training to be better at archery again, and then just taking him on these deadly adventures. And throughout, just eventually they got like halfway through the quest, through their little run, and being like, alright, you know what, Feindal, you've been a good friend to us, and we've been abusing you, so here, have ten cabbages, and then just accidentally eating six of the cabbages right in front of him. I don't know why that's so funny to me. That you just accidentally eat six cabbages while trying to give them to someone. Uh. Alright, well. Uh, let me just see if that... Oh yeah, here they are. There are the images. One of these was not sent. That's awkward. Hang on. Alright, hang on. Let me try to... Let me try to send that other one. Hang on. Let me see if I can find another one of my dog. Hang on. Hang on. I'm looking. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I can't. It exceeds the file limit. All right. F I'll find a way to send that later. Fine, then. Hang on. I'll at least put the image of the gecko up on stream. Hang on. Uh, image. Is this the right one? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, there's... <laughs> it's a little big, but, uh... <laughs> that, that's my gecko. That's Marvin the gecko. He had a little bone thing, so his arms are a little, uh... His arms are a little messed up, but that's him. That's That was my pet gecko, Marvin. All I have is my dog sleeping on my favorite sweater. Oh. Oh, that's cute. I do have... I hope I still have that good picture of my dog just lying down. Just completely conked out, but <laughs> yeah, here's a there's there's Gecko. <laughs> oh, so cute! I love the eyes; they're beautiful. Yeah, geckos have. I love their eyes and just their eternal smiley face. Look at that! Look at that little smiley face that they have. They're so oblivious; they don't even know. <laughs> they don't even know the current state of our economy. All right, you're going. Uh, so I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna... It's 8.30. It's nowhere near as late as it normally is when I finish streaming. Damn. Alright, so I guess that's just it. I guess I'm just gonna go eat sushi now. Anyways. Thank you, baby, for being here. Thank you, everyone else who showed up. And if you're watching the VOD, uh, 